So, as you may all be aware, the new recruits that we have gotten here have been given their introduction on how the business here operates. After their brief introduction, they were all sent off to their separate quarters based on the roles they wish to take up with the organization as a whole. Ian was sent to Captain Learnit to learn how to work as a combat unit if the need arises, while Lyran was sent off to talk with one of the hedge mages we have here. Roko found work in the infirmary where he did well, and Lyra and Wainwright found himself in the smithy. They spent the day working where eventually both Lyran and Roko were called to the general's office. After displaying a good showmanship of work. There they spoke with her to sort of introduce themselves more properly. And the conversation was noted, but rather uneventful overall. Everyone else just seems to be working in the bandit hideout for now. And whether or not they are going to do anything or just decide to become bandits is left to be seen. And that is where we will pick up. So, you guys are getting towards the end of the day of your second night here. Is there anything you would like to do? Really? Um, I mean, I think like my during recycling. the day. So it's the new day. Alright, you guys gain the benefits of a long rest, and your third day here starts. Oh, wait, did I get... So wait, we got... Didn't we end the session do using our after-the-day downtime? Because yes. I was working on the designs and stuff. Oh, uh, oh yeah. Or was that the night before? Because oh, no, I was working, right. you guys I was working on. You guys got done with your day at work. You guys have time to do stuff for that day after you're done. My bad. Oh, okay. Um. I thought we did everything, and we were just picking it up after we had finished. But we'll say you're at dinner. We'll just make this simple and say you're at dinner on the second day. Sounds good to me. So, as you guys are in the mess hall eating. Um, they're serving what seems to be some sort of basic gruel, nothing fancy. It's kind of like a hot dish. Ah, oh, fantastic! Wait, is it, you said fish? No, it's like, gruel. like a hot dish. Yeah, it's a hot oh, dish okay. of gruel. We basically got mm. porridge. Yeah, more or less. Porridge is pretty good, though. Never had it. Interesting. It, it's kind of it's a food that's good for like when you're in colder climates. It's, it's a nice thing to come back in the uh, house. It's with. basically hot cereal. Yeah, yeah, it's like arts. Yeah. Is it cinnamon flavored at least? Um, I don't remember how much work I had left to do on my projects. Uh, the crossbow. I know you're getting pretty close to getting done. Probably had another good day of work on that. Right, and then I made the uh, the first half of my um, little launcher mechanism during the day at the yep. forge. Yep. So you can spend time trying to put one of those together if you'd like. Um, I'll finish up work on the crossbow overnight. Okay. Uh, roll me just you, a... I, th I, I thought you said that it wouldn't require a check, I just need a time, but I'll roll another check if you want. I did say that, though. Yeah, I think I did say that. Yeah, so you can spend the rest of the night doing that if you so desire. Yeah, I'll just work on that. Because I think I need help finishing off this other contraption, so... Yeah. Alright. Uh, is anyone else doing anything for the evening? I honestly can't think of anything. Same. 
Yeah, me neither. Alright. Let's just become bandits. Look at how chill this is. Won't that... Won't that give Michael a cut of ball? <laughs> oh, I, I don't think I, so. Listen, I'm ready if that is how things turn. <laughs> Just uh, raid Edelhart, kill everybody in the council, and take over. <laughs> we are the council now. We are the council here, bitches! Wait, Cam, we need the uh, council to decide your fate. GIF or image? I mean, to be uh, fair, we are one of each spe we, 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 We're each of one of a different species, so it should be a more representative council. Yeah. <laughs> um... Ah, oh, there it is. Just gonna need that on stand. Oh, okay. <laughs> Just gonna need it on standby. I hate you guys. <laughs> it's a beautiful image. How can you hate it? Rock saw on Wayne Wright. I'm gonna get the meme. <laughs> uh, Wayne Wright, as you're working, there's a collapse and you die instantly. Ah, uh, uh, it was what? Uh. In any case, I guess Roko gathers the rest of the party together. Is like, and we, we, tries to find a secluded place where we can all talk alone. Uh, I'll say that's easy enough. You have a janitor's closet available to you. <laughs> Good old Rufus. <laughs> just magic. It's a little cramped in here. It's a Rufus just comes out of the closet. Everybody. This is supposed to represent something. Just close the back door. <laughs> I I like the image of four of us uh, of four of us getting in and much like the Hulk in the elevator scene from the Avengers. As soon as Ian tries to get in, it yeah, like, we're just no. Yeah, we're no, in it's, like it's no a, boy. Sorry, man. It's really cramped in here, especially with Ian. But you guys can make it work. No, no. If Ian needs to step out, he can go do his recycling thing. I mean, let's be honest, Ian's probably not the uh, most useful for a planning strategy seminar. Yeah, no, that's fine. <laughs> All right, so Ian, you abandon the you abandon the planning session and terms, and you're starting to look for bottles and shit to quote-unquote... Have recycle. I heard back about my recycling plan yet? You have not. There really hasn't been that much time passing between you bringing it up to Captain Le Learn It and then, you know, now... I'm gonna go 100% go start recycling. <laughs> uh, Roko is slowly converting the party. <laughs> you know what, for something giggles, roll me an investigation check to see how many, like, bottles and shit. Ooh, you, you have asked me to roll the wrong thing. Four? Wow, 14. Uh, Alright. You rolled a 16 for that. I will say. It will take you a few hours, but you basically can gather yourself a large knapsack of, like, bottles and, uh, and, like, other miscellaneous... Now, here's the real question. Can I use this as an improvised weapon? You could. I'm not actually gonna fucking do that. And, and, and can he call no, you it an Irish dagger? <laughs> Uh, if you must, you may. Just keep in mind, Ireland's not a thing in this world. It is now! Hey, Laura! Wait, wait, that means I have a, a, a bag of improvised weapons for Tutu now. So, yeah. Oh, God. So, so, Laura, f fun fact, you just entered the, uh, we're, we're grabbing everybody, everybody's in the closet, Ian's outside recycling. That's where we are, we are right now to, pl to discuss plans. <laughs> I look forward to every week being able to play Ian and turn my brain off for a few hours. Yeah. Isn't it nice? Yeah. Anyway, so we're in the closet. Uh, I, man, I thought you would have been looking forward to playing another character and turning your brain on for a change. God. That's every other day of the week. I like playing Lyran. I can just not scheme for four hours. It's amazing. Nice. But okay. For four hours, I can be an honest person. That's a lie. Yeah, here's Roko. So guys, here's the plan. We uh, I was able to uh, me and uh Lou we were able to go see the being the chief dust thing, the, the captain, the general, whatever the fuck her name is. Wait, you already got in touch with the captains? Oh yeah, super easy, barely an inconvenience. <laughs> huh. I don't know what fake it took you so long, honestly, Rufus. 
I was only here for two days before you. Second, well, <laughs> my job is a. I'm trying to not stand out, to be honest. <laughs> well, fair enough. In any case, me and Ewan stood out enough that we got meetings. So, we well, at least have a bit of an end this year, and maybe we can get about. Try to get an opportunity to bring up the, uh. Looks about shiftily in the closet. Our special request. I mean, your proposal for recycling? Yes. Yes, the recycling proposal. Kind of a bigger clause if we're going to include more recycling, whatever that is. <laughs> but in any case, everything should be go is going okay so far. So the best bet is we keep moving forward, and hopefully we all have a day we can get together to speak through. Okay. When's, uh... Hmm. Do you know when the next time uh, you're gonna see her is? Well, apparently she only likes to speak to us when we do a really good job at our jobs. Oh, cool. The great goddess recycling says we need a 20 plus on a skill check. Don't know what that means, but that's what I was told. <laughs> Interesting. Uh... Ah, checks out. Oh. oh, I don't have the energy to do a voice. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, just when I just lose his accent. This isn't actually how I speak. Yeah. <laughs> I've been tricking you the entire time. <laughs> Go on. Well, in that case, uh, whatever that means. Uh, Surprise guess... twist. Renright was just a uh, Ken Koo the entire time. <laughs> <laughs> God. <laughs> I finally run out of words to say. <laughs> God. Two kind of looks around and goes, So where'd Varen go? Ah! Uh... <laughs> well, about that! Did you ever see, like, what happens when a bug gets crushed by a brock that you dropped by accident? Oh. Yeah. Now imagine that rock gets dropped and then you step on the rock. Oh. <laughs> That's not good. And then imagine after that happens. <laughs> I think we get the uh, picture there, Roko. No, no. Keep going. <laughs> And then you climb over the rock to go chase the thing that threw the rock! <laughs> and basically you end up with raspberry jam! My life is in the hands of these morons. I do not like my Hey, odds. welcome to the club. <laughs> there was a uh. series of unfortunate events I loved about not being alive. On the plus side, we did give him a nice tombstone unlike the other guy we just met. Hey, what you put on it? Uh, something very truthful and dear. <laughs> God. <laughs> I, 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 I can already <laughs> hear a revenant being built. <laughs> Andy, that is on you at any point. You may push the launch button. I'm a cleric. Yeah, no, I've got uh... nothing to fear. <laughs> uh, but, um, what did you guys put on this grave? I don't remember. Here lies Fair, oh, the world's worst scout. <laughs> you guys are terrible. God. <laughs> That's, that's factual information. That's not on us. <laughs> Andy, you just say the word. We can talk about that right now, alright? Just one second. Uh, you just say, yep, yeah, no, he's coming back, and I'll be like, cool, and then I will start making plans. So, uh, in any case, though, we're gonna have to try our best to try to convince her how to make that piece with Andy Hart, because uh, she's got a bit of a bone up her ass about him. I mean, she seems like a nice enough person, organized, like, oddly organized, honestly. Like, this fucking place is weird. Who the hell builds a bandit fortress with contracts? People that want it to be professionally done. But yeah, 
Yeah, but the part of a contract is that's supposed to be enforced by the gov local government. <laughs> mm hmm. Like I said, just kind of weird, that's all. But in any case, our best bet is, uh, Tutu, can't you just talk to the general? I thought you were from here. I mean, I'm from here. I do not remember if I have, like, ever spoken to the general. I can try. Ah, that's right, the head injury thing. Do you think yeah. another blow to the head might fix it? For some reason, I got, a, I, I got this idea that that works. I mean, Why would you think that would work? You've never seen an old classic 1960s sitcom, Michael? I mean, I have, but that's like horribly inaccurate. I know. That's not okay. this. This is D and D, and this is Rocco. Right, I was fine, making fine. a mean joke, Michael. Ah, <laughs> I, I, I'm sorry. I misunderstood. It's so all good. Continue. It's too good. I mean, you can, you can try. Oh, you have to explain it to my. My parents, if anything, goes even worse. No, don't worry about it. I'll get a spell sooner or later. Wait, the sick Leo will grant me the power to heal you one day. <laughs> Providing we don't live that long. Looks like, just kind of creaks open and peeks out the closet door. I'm saying Ian's just walking around with a plastic bag at this point. <laughs> Not plastic. Kind of Why the fuck would it be plastic, dude? I'm recycling. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's, kind of like burlap sack. it's it's a b literally potato sack filled with bottles. Yep. You just you just watch him and you just hear this clang 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 as all the bottles are just bouncing on each other. As if he wasn't not as, as if he was not subtle already. It closes yeah. the door. Just back his eyes up. like nope. when she hears the fucking bottles going, her eyes like dilate like a cat seeing a toy. <laughs> <laughs> Just, ooh. In any case, uh, can I have those? Later. <laughs> I mean, what's okay. the point of recycling is to use them for other things. <laughs> but in any yeah, case, like wait. beating the shit out of people. Hey, <laughs> sorry. Recycling a cob's a useful thing. But in any case, now we gotta figure out how to get to the. Try to see if we can get a hold of her. Unfortunately, Tutu's got the memory problem, so we can't use her connections. I mean, do you think your parents might be willing to uh, help us with this scenario? Do you got, like, a feeling for them? Mm -hmm. Or are they more like you on a Tuesday? You know, hey, there's someone who bleeds. <laughs> no, they're not like me on a Tuesday. Um, hmm. I mean, they've been part of the bandit since before I was born, and for a pretty darn long time. Uh, they... I don't know, they've... Uh... DM, can I... I don't know what I would roll, and my internet is taking forever to actually get into Humblewood, but uh, could I roll something to maybe figure out what they might think about it? About your parents, what I think about trying to set up a meeting with the general? Yeah, about, uh, what I assume Roko's talking about is generally oh, yeah. being on our side in terms of, uh, uh, peace. Yeah, like, basically Roko's looking to see if we could get, if her parents might be allies in helping us get this fucking peace accord made. Roll... I'll say roll me either in history check or in... Insight check. Roko will oh, tap right. Tutu on the flowers like, Don't worry, baby, you got this! And just taps her on the head and gives you guidance. <laughs> Never call me baby again. Sorry. <laughs> uh, once this finishes loading in, I will... Okay, there you go. Almost. I see my sheet. It's still white and blank. We're getting there. We're getting there, baby. Man, it's so <laughs> Do you just want me to roll it for you? Oh, I'm almost there. Okay, no, yeah, the, you should. The, well, no, it, no, it's the suspense, the build up. Wait, wait. You can't, wanna, you can't ruin do the pale. Roko's just holding up. Okay, I have advantage on this, or you don't have advantage. Is it a plus D4? It's a D4. Yeah, D4. Okay. But yeah, either roll me an insight or a history check. Yeah, insight is my best bet. Oof. It rolled something. I rolled I don't know what three. it rolled. You rolled three. <laughs> oh, Jesus. 
You roll that d4. I had a four, of course. Uh, Technically, she rolled a two. Uh, so... Wait, how did I roll a two? You rolled a two, yeah, that made a one. three, yeah. Oh. Oh, I see. Which then became <laughs> a seven. Um. Yeah. Two, two, you're... You have... You struggle when it comes to connecting the dots nowadays. You don't say. Um... Uh, <laughs> You'd have to actually maybe like try to bring this up to them a bit more before you could actually get an I idea. Mean, okay, Cut. they've told me. I remember at least a couple of times that they'd support me no matter what, but I don't know if they'll be like on board if, or if they'll just be like, Ugh, you so know what, what I mean? What you're saying is we should try to flat the idea to them and see how they take it. Yeah, yeah. Uh, that sounds like a thought. I mean, this place has work contracts. How sure are we that it doesn't have, like, a, a form of documented entreaty towards the general? Like, can't we just formally request a meeting, I submit mean, the idea, we told we and... Couldn't, you know, we were told we couldn't do that. Plus, remember, we gotta keep this as damn low as possible. That's fair enough. I mean, otherwise, my suggestion would be let's just talk to all the bandits to get them on our side. This is gonna be a long undercover mission. <laughs> I mean, Michael, what are we supposed to do? <laughs> I, don't worry. It's, you'll figure it out eventually. You'll yeah. figure things out, I'm sure. Look, our best right. plan is to go talk to Tutu's parents. See what they think about it. They're high ups, they have to be. They've been here before Tutu was born. How old are you, Tutu? <laughs> twelve. See, they've been here. You're twelve, damn. Any place. <laughs> <laughs> we age different. I'm like the equivalent of like I don't know, twenty five in Mapache years. Huh. Something like that. Yeah. They I might mean... not be. They might not be career bandits, though they might just be smiths. Yeah, but the thing is, they've been here long enough that they should probably at least know the general a little, right? Probably. I mean, I, mean, least... I can ask them. Yeah, I mean, let's it's not do... like I. Uh... Oh, sorry. Sorry. No, go ahead. Okay. I mean, I can kind of float it as, you know, my usual brain issues, and I mean. If I, as long as I can remember, I can just ask him what their opinion on this general is and uh, things like that. Maybe ask uh, what the general's all about. Like, why is she doing what she's doing leading the bandits? Uh, yeah. Because her village burned up. That's when she got the scar. And oh, that's right. the <laughs> council didn't help at all. So she has a grudge against them. Hmm. But in any case, maybe uh, we can work with that to try to, like, make it not so terrible, or maybe work on her good side, saying, you know, this whole bandage with things only getting more forest burned. More people are becoming bad because, you know, we can't solve this shit commendably. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I could float it. See how it goes. Uh, one of you should probably come with me in case I forget, but, you know. Yeah, sure. Uh, who you want with you, Toto? I'm gonna Literally, I'm here. trying. <laughs> Out of character, I am desperately trying to get someone who has, you know, who is persuasive? not just, uh, yeah, persuasive. That would be Roko. I'm the highest persuasion in the party. <laughs> okay, what do you fair. have for persuasion? 14. Well, I guess you would be the highest now, but you are also the stranger in the party. <laughs> that is very yeah. true. <laughs> and they probably see me around. Also... Oh, that's true. Yeah. Hey, Rufus, we'll also go just... with you. Yeah. Okay. Sure. Possibly. I mean, you've been here for longer than us, so maybe it seems less awkward. Yeah, probably a good idea. Had to ask him for a couple repairs in the past. But then again, yeah, we all know Nututu personally. Roko just starts working out math. <laughs> in other case, yeah, well, we, we should mean... probably pair off for this at least. We got a magic thing hey, out there, Rufus. I'm uh, trying not to fucking uh, squat and take over all of the RP, so at least one other person, if not two. Yeah. 
Tell you what, I'll go because I can enhance ability. Rufus, I can enhance your speaking ability and we can double our chances. Fair enough. Uh, you were asking about what I can do, correct? Yeah, do I got any kind of special skills? Uh, I was mostly built... I was mostly trained to be kind of more infiltration slash, uh... Slash, uh, more of a diplomat. So, I got some of the, uh, more diplomatic, uh, support, uh, utilities, like, uh... I can disguise myself and make myself look like any person. Really good for if you're caught out and you can just disguise as somebody else and then just run away. Uh, I could also probably make you completely invisible. And apparently, I have been told I'm very good at suggestion. Ah, well, we got that in common, actually. Oh, no kidding. Yeah, I'm very suggestible. <laughs> I can also command people to do what I want if my own will! <laughs> that is very terrifying. <laughs> well, it doesn't do much. I can just basically get a dog to sit. <laughs> <laughs> when somebody uh, froze, um, when it, somebody litters. Clay! Pick Ooh. that up! <laughs> <laughs> I think the man only has and one then word, they just though. drop it, just like, what the hell? <laughs> You suggestion. You will clean up every piece of trash in this rubbish, young man. <laughs> <laughs> in any case, besides that factor. So yeah, for the three of us go, that might double that will increase our chances. Larry can keep an eye on uh, Ian. Wainwright can keep an eye on Lyron. <laughs> <laughs> I can manage that. And then hopefully we can get our opportunity to speak to the big boss. Alone, without a general there. Who would stop us if we tried to say something? Basically, the only reason I didn't put the hope... idea earlier. I'm just hoping that that turns out the way it's... You're hoping it, too. Well, there's always plan D. <laughs> You're really... Ruf um, Rufus kind of just puts his hands in his... Uh, his uh, chin in his, in his thumbs and just says, I don't really want to know, but <laughs> I kind of feel like I, I need to. Worst case scenario, we take out the general and start in as the new yeah, Okay, I'm just going to stop you right there. <laughs> I'm just going to stop you right in your tracks there. That's... What? I said worst case. Yes, and I'm starting to worry that the worst case is growing more and more likely. Either way, I prefer right. to not. Uh, actually, that reminds me, Michael. How tall is the general? She is about the size of Ian, maybe like three or four inches smaller. Jesus. And Ian, how tall are you? Be Seven good. foot even. Fuck. Okay. So I do have disguise self. <laughs> I was like. Well, if she dies, I guess I could disguise her, but no, that's not going to work. Yeah. Disguise, disguise no, 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 Ian no. as the what, general. What you need to do, though, for that one, Rufus, is what you do is you stand on Roko's shoulder, then cast Disguise Self, and we do the, trench, the gnomes <laughs> in a trench coat thing. Both of you have to cast Disguise Self. <laughs> Rufus disguises Self as her torso, and Roko disguises Self as her legs. God. I hate you guys. <laughs> Dude, Ow. this is like the most DMT fucking plan ever. That's how we do it. Just to see how stupid it can go. Oh. Jesus. Please. They like go to kill us and cut us in half and the legs just start running around and the guard, the guy just drops his weapon screaming in terror as this disembodied but it's like torso's running God. around. <laughs> 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 I feel like I come here every week just so you guys can torture me. <laughs> yeah, seems like it. F face it, Michael, we're creative. You gotta give us that. I, uh, yeah, you know what? <laughs> I will give you that. Uh, so. Continue. So, okay, that's the plan. Three of us go find Turtor's parents and see what we can do. Yeah. Sounds agreeable. Lead the way, 
too, too. <laughs> All right. And I start, like, shuffling around, darting under people to get to the outside of this fucking closet we're all hiding in. It, it's starting to smell a little bit. It's a little, like, warm in here. It, it's kind of uncomfortable, and you get out, and it's like a... And you get hit with the cold air, it's like a breath of fresh air. Oh my god, thank god. Thank... Thank not... Thank not your god with all respect to your god. I do not want to swear fealty anyway. <laughs> uh, I go in a direction, pause, do my best to remember where my parents are, and then change direction to go in that direction. Uh, I'll say it's easy enough. You can find them in the mess hall. See, yeah. this is why we need a map. <laughs> I mean, I don't know if it would help me if I would even remember I have a map, so, you know. Uh, hey. I kind of wave at them with these two behind me. Hello there, Mr. and Mrs. Vaitorto. What's your last name? <laughs> I never <laughs> thought of this. <laughs> it's just another two. It's two, two, two. No, it's two two, uh, two, two, two. We have another Mario scenario here. Uh, dos. <laughs> dos? Hey. Yeah. Hello, That's Mr. Mrs. Just... Dos. Tur tur dos. Seriously? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's not the stupidest name I've heard. Really? <laughs> Laura? <laughs> yeah. All right. I'll go with it. Uh. Ah, uh. uh we're also, yes, that is what I have in mind for his So wait a minute, so we just call you Quattro for short? Yeah. <laughs> 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 anyway, your your parents kind of wave you over and says, uh, your dad says, Hey, kiddo, what's, uh, what are you doing? Yeah, not much. Uh... <laughs> just, 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 I, I, I'm wondering how my mother is looking at me after the whole, uh, knocking out someone with porn debacle, but, you know. <laughs> no, Mike, she's looking have... at you. She, she's just kind of... She seems happy to see you. Um, <laughs> yeah, well, roll me an insight check. God. Because I did so well on that last time. Uh, come on. Do it. Please. Computer, please. Okay. Insight. <laughs> oh, damn. Really? Jesus. Now you wasted both. You wasted all our got twenties. No. <laughs> uh, Tutu, you see, kind of like hidden by behind your mother's pleasant smile. There's still this kind of look of like, mm, that's right. I need to talk to her father. <laughs> <laughs> hey, just uh, friends and I, I have some questions. Dad already know as well. Yes. <laughs> dad knew, uh, her dad knew about it, but the problem is, he told her to get rid of it. She never did. Yeah. She doesn't know that her, her mother knows now. <laughs> yeah, or being a man near to death with porn. I mean, that's yeah. that's just a natural. That's just a natural use for porn, I think. Yes. Beating, yes. Very natural. Anyway. Yeah. She kind of goes, no. Just okay. These guys had some questions and. I had some questions, and because I can't remember a lot, so kind of wanted to ask about the, you know, uh, shoot, general. Uh, oh, it's the general. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, but I mean, I was trying to remember her name. Oh. Okay, oh general. Uh, the second, name of the general up. is uh, Benna. What's a Benna? Benna. Uh, At least that's what I wrote. Uh, Tutu's dad just pipes up and says, Yeah, Ben a certain. Yeah, Ben a certain. That's uh, what I got. All right. In. Uh, Mrs. Dose. Uh, so, Mr. and Mrs. Dose, it's uh, good to see you. I think you repaired one of my weapons when I first arrived. I mean, we don't repair the weapons. We just hope, we just kind of take in. Oh, uh, okay. Oh, sorry, they're the crafters, not the... Yeah, sorry. They're not the crafters, I think they're the, uh... The quartermasters. Think like a, yeah, kind oh. of like a deep no man sort of thing. Yeah, the quartermasters. Oh, okay. they they, they're the quartermasters. Oh, they they're watch the weaponry. They're the quartermasters. Okay, sorry. 
Yeah. I thought you said there were smiths, sorry. But they organized your weapon to get taken care of. Okay. Uh, and but, uh... Weapon. Yeah, I think I remember seeing you. Yeah, so, uh, what did you want to know about the general? Just, what was it like when, was she a bandit? Like, you know, one of the members before she took power? Or did she just kind of, you know, jump in? Well, she was, if I remember correctly, she was here for a long time. And, uh, she started off like anyone else, just kind of as just a regular recruit, though things were a lot less organized back in the day. Um, she was kind of more of a... Think of the base here more of kind of as a gathering hub than an organized structure. It's just more of where people kind of came together to organize parties, go out, and then bring back the spoils here so we could collectively buy protection supplies, and if anyone had a rough go of things, they'd be covered. Yeah, no kidding. How long has she been doing that for? Like, as charge, this sort of thing. Oh, she's been charged for a good while now, probably less five or so years, I think. Oh, wow, well, so when Tortu was just a little tiny glitter mouse. I mean, she'd be seven by that point, but... Yeah, seven's pretty small. <laughs> I mean, for Jervine's so that, not that small. But, um... Oh, that was like a teenager, I think. Yeah. Well, you were seven years old, but yeah. Yeah, but like teenager, the equivalent of a teenager. There's not too many races that actually live to 100 in this campaign. Okay. <laughs> but anyway, <laughs> continuing on. But, uh, yeah, so when she took over, she started organizing things. Uh, she started making shifts, getting people organized, start, set up the contract system. Uh, she got basically this place, instead of working as kind of a conglomerate of different bandits, uh, more of a organized structure flown under one banner. Oh. Ah, got it, got it, got it. Yeah, she's been more focused on getting... She's been also really focused on getting people who have been affected by the fires to be taken care of if they need it. Uh, like when Ashboro burned down, they uh, we got an influx of a lot of refugees here. And a lot of time when people go to Eldarheart and get subsequently blocked at the door, uh, we usually have a few people kind of waiting around there to let them know that they can come here if they want to get shelter. Hmm. Is that, um, I'm, this is just a character question. Is that what Tutu and his par um, her parents did, like, when Ashbro fell, or but did they, were they just always bandits? Just curious. Uh, That's a good that? fucking question. Um, yes, that? Um, I'm asking that to Laura, like, out of character. Uh, <laughs> I don't have an answer for that, but I can throw it at Tutu has plenty of good reason to go. So, how did we become, you know, bandits, or or was I born to it? Sorry. Oh. Noticing that, that there might be a cringe or two. Uh, yeah! They're like, they just say, uh, well, you were born here, your father and I came here about 14 years ago, when we were both young. Um, we came here because there wasn't really any room in Elderheart at the time, and the roots hadn't been set up yet. So we want, so there wasn't any room for us to move in. So when we, um, so we came here instead. Uh, and your father and I aren't much for fighting, so we worked. Our, we kind of just worked as staff here at the. Um, keep, keeping organized uh, weapons and whatnot. Um, generally, we'd do odd jobs here and there, and then when the general took over, uh, we got more of an official post, and we're kind of more of uh, quartermasters. Hmm. We came here more for the fact that we had nowhere else to go after our village burnt down, but... There seems to be a common theme running around here. Uh, well, there's a lot of smaller 
villages in the woods and they're fairly susceptible to fires and there hasn't been much support from Elderheart for those communities, so we've been kind of left on our own, more or less. Yeah. Speaking of Elderheart, yeah. like, what is, like, our, like, our, our, our uh, exchange policy with them? Is it, like, burn them to the ground when we get the chance, or what? <sighs> That's a bit complicated. Um, normally, until rec very recently, the the policies when it came to Elder Hot was to was to raid any shipments going that way if we caught them. Um, and then to do that, and to text, but lately there's been a a bit more frustration building with the city as a lot more people begin to smoke out of their homes uh, as of late. So there's been a lot more animosity building in the. Uh, coalition as a whole, I guess you could say. Um, so, um, the general's policy usually is attack, you know, only steal from the merchants and whatnot, but, you know, merchant class, maybe if you're feeling bold, rob a, um, perch guard patrolling unit, send a message, but that's usually Elder Hearts is supposed to be left alone just because it's Massive fucking city. This the recent raid though um, was only possible just because of the influx of people we've got recently who have just been sick of Eldar as a whole. And the general's kind of fought on the raid. Was that like her master plan, or did it just kind of unfold? <sighs> that like the general has made statements that she doesn't want people going out of their way to kill people in, uh, across the woods, and that includes Elderheart. Um, the raid was a little different, I guess, because of, from what I heard, a lot of the uh, perch guard were, uh, there were a few perch guard casualties uh, in Elderheart. Well, yeah. the dire situation that needed to be done. I mean, I'm not the best. We're not the best guys and gals to ask about that particular operation. We're just. That's more something you'd have to ask a captain or something like that. No fair, <laughs> fair. I just was curious of your uh, own opinion on the whole scenario, because I mean that was quite the daring uh, move. Seemed kind of risky. <laughs> One of you may make an insight check if you so desire. Sure, Roka will take that. <laughs> 19. Nice. Alright. You can tell there's some confliction there. Uh, there, like, you can definitely tell there's some sort of confliction there. Of, uh, yeah, like, there is some, there's positive, they have, like, positive negative feelings about it. I mean, it would just be kind of nice, honestly, if we could just take care of that stupid grove, eh? That's the real problem. Yeah, curiosity, Michael, is, like, the known of what fucking causes the Scorch Grove, like, common lore, or is it just, like, a big mystery nobody knows? Uh, there is a bit of mystery to it. Um, legends say that it is because the Great Rhythm was thrown off. Uh, and thus ushered in a great calamity in what was once a very prosperous section of Humblewood. Um, why specifically the elemental uh, fire? Like that, like what sort of thing caused all these fires to sprout up there is in and of itself unknown, but there are theories of people who have said it was, you know, we had thrown off the great rhythm uh, somehow. And because of that, a natural disaster like this was inevitable. This is and exactly, now it has left its guard on land. This is exactly why people who don't have rhythm shouldn't dance. Uh, um, but, uh, yeah, 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 I mean, like, I mean, the real problem is that Scourge Grove, right? I mean, yeah, Scourge Grove is the real issue, it's just... In Scourge Grove is the issue, but even I know that, you know, 
people up there aren't doing enough to, you know, no, I know really help exactly, anyone. But, I mean, the point that I was trying to make is that this seems kind of like a band-aid problem, right? Yeah. I mean, we've we got this great fort up here, but that grove keeps growing. We need leadership to take care of it, sort of thing. We do. Um... Kind of hard to do when we're being, you know, pursued by it. Uh, Elder Hog. That's true, yeah. that is true. There was only a solution to that problem! <laughs> <sighs> hey, Mom? Dad? Yes? What do you, what do you think it'd take to, you know, get any kind of peace? Like, you know, a little less fighting, if nothing else? I don't even know who'd, who would have to, you know, make that offering or how it would go down, but... Uh, peace. Well, another pipe's up. Well, most people around here fo will follow the general. She's earned the respect and loyalty of basically most people here. But if, you know, the general and the council were able to work something out where more or less we can set our differences aside and deal with the Scorch Grove, whether temporarily or permanently. Um, mm -hmm. I'm sure that would be a solution and can get us dealing with that problem more effectively. Uh, but I don't know. You don't, you don't think that people would be too bitter about everything? Well, that's the problem. There's blood in the water. I'm, I mean, in my personal opinion, I would like to see the day when we're all, you know, able to get along and maybe you and, you know, me you and your father could actually move into Elder Hearts and see it for ourselves, you know? You and I never got the chance to get inside and look around, but, you know, I would like to... Yeah, where it's not so... Where it's not so cold. <laughs> um, and your father pipes up and then he says, Yeah, I mean... I mean, if you, I doubt... There are some people here who I know for a fact... For, who I know for a fact ain't gonna... Go and, uh... With any sort of peace deal, but... I mean... Most people who are here got driven here here because they ain't got nowhere else to go and they're sick of the council's lack of representation for us humble folk um, I see I see so we kind of had to do something that was kind of give or take scenario yeah it's just I think at this point it's going to be opening a dialogue and get everyone to simmer down it's going gonna, it's gonna to be a bit of an issue yeah it would take I mean, a real master order to get that set up yeah yeah right Rufus yeah. That would be correct. Uh, and, but yeah, I mean, sorry. The general could. I mean, the general and the council got to talking and work something out. I'm sure most people here would be more than happy to get back to normal lives if they ever knew. Them. Yeah. Well, it's definitely an interesting thing. Yeah. To kind of like. Very slowly raises an eyebrow at Roko, like, hmm? Yes, and. I'm assuming you're getting like, hey, we, should we tell them? Is that what that mm, is about? <laughs> I mean, do you want. You can make any decisions of your own, but that would probably be a sound decision, yes. <laughs> Or a yeah. sound, uh... I, I, I was asking just for, for my own personal insight, because I can't see your expression, so mm, can mean a lot of things. <laughs> yeah. Uh, uh, Roko's thinking to himself, You know, I think we've got an opportunity to make this world a better place. Rufus, what do you think? Should we take go out all out and try to make a world a better place? Yeah, that's always what we're trying to do. Should we include sure. these good people in our recycling plans? <laughs> Rufus is gonna look at Tutu's parents. 
look back at Tutu and then to Roko and just say, Wait, wait, you know are, you, are you talking about the plan that Deer Man was talking about earlier? Ah, uh, came by and he asked us for our bottles. Not quite. Ian just walked by with his burlap sack of recyclables. <laughs> No, you like told me to keep an eye on Lyran. <laughs> yeah, I know, and I told Lyran yeah, to keep just, an eye on Ian. That was the change. We just see like a conga line of them just like walking by trying to chase the other. <laughs> God. You just see, you, just no, you, see you don't even see, you don't even see Wainwright outside. like following. <laughs> it's Ian's walking around, and then Liren's following Ian, and then the fucking flamethrower turret's following Liren. <laughs> <laughs> Wayne Rice just nowhere in sight. Ah, you, you, just see, you just see Liren reading a book casually, and, and the smaller burlap sack just floats on by. Like a single fucking bottle is deposited, and, and it floats on by. <laughs> <laughs> oh, fun unseen servant! <laughs> ah! God, I really wish someone like Zaka was in the ch like in this game just so they could draw that scene. <laughs> uh, yeah. To be fair, yes, yes, something about that. Um, let me ask you, Mr. and Mrs. Doss, would you be willing to have a conversation? Do you need to tell you something in the closet? <laughs> <laughs> I and the shark like... came out to her parents. Uh, <laughs> she's gonna look down to Roka and says, "Crazy, damn it!" Uh, oh, as I mentioned that, uh, your mom, your mom then turns to Dan and says, um, "By the way, I don't know if this is what you want, what you wanted to tell us, but your daughter decided to smack someone over the head." <laughs> Books of pornography. Hey, 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 this is closet talk if I ever heard it! <laughs> also, it's completely irrelevant. <laughs> Your dad just kind of looks at you and is like, oh, really? Look, we don't want to repair his poor tutu here. This should really be done in some place private. <laughs> you know what, Roko? You know what, Roko? I think that's the, mo the smartest thing you've said to me. <laughs> Roka will usher Tutu and her pairs off into the closet. Just you got this, Tutu! I believe in you! And I will enhance your ability for charisma checks. Oh god, okay. So you have oh, advantage okay. oh, if you no. have to do any charisma checks. That includes uh, deception. Nice. <laughs> god okay. damn, you guys are... <laughs> I'm so you know, glad I... I... This is why I always put at least one book of smut in every D&D campaign I ever run, because it always leads to something funny. You know, God. I was kind of regretting that I should just probably just said suggest um, cast suggestion on them, but, you know what, this is easier. This is funnier. Yeah. <laughs> to so two, we... as they're going in the closet, goes, look, it was the first thing I had on hand to, to make my point. And... Alright, and... What point are you trying to make? Like, what would you do, Tutu? I, first, I close the closet door behind us and go, okay, the, one, the point was that I could beat his ass in a contest, and I did. And two, uh, so, where could... Hmm. Okay. Do you have any other issues about the porn stuff? Because, like, this is going to blow that way out of the water. I'd rather have this conversation about porn with my parents than admit something else. <laughs> your, your dad just says, "Well, I don't know why you, I don't know why you hit someone with head with, with a bullpen porn, but listen, I just, I ain't judging." And <laughs> <laughs> your mom just turns around and just says, "I never said it was bullpen porn." <laughs> Jesus Christ. Hey, Tutu, what was that other thing you want to tell us? <laughs> okay, okay. I'm, I'm, like, taking too much in pleasure out of watching my parents getting upset over what exact type of porn I was reading, but anyway. Uh, or not reading. Don't in think, this I case. don't think that's what the upset's about. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Look, Tattoo's brain is broken. They make weird things. Uh, connections. Anyway, uh, 
So, you know that group that I came in with? Uh, all of those people? So, like, half of my trip to, you know... So, the reason I kind of left in the first place was some weird idea of, you know, peace. And then the head injury happened, but I had, like, just enough to want, you know, to keep doing that. I showed up and kind of started following them around, and they actually have an in with the council. And we were actually sent here to, you know, try to establish peaceful relations. That's, you know, why all the questions are there. We're there. So as you're speaking, the moment you say council, your parents' eyes just grow wide, and then as you're saying you have this, you know, peace deal ready with the council, their jaw just kind of drops, like collectively in sync. <laughs> but by the way, Michael, just for the sake of flavor, if anybody ever comes by the closet door, Roko will immediately start trying to hand them a flyer to Recyclia so they scatter off as quick as possible. <laughs> <laughs> You know, for my own amusement, just roll me just a general charisma check. You know, this is gonna be performance. Roll me a performance check. It's I will the same give an thing. advantage since I have uh, advantage. I will also yeah, use I my. Agree. Why not? I'll make myself proficient with my fucking ten minutes worth of uh, divinity. Uh, this should be great. As yeah, you just you were, the pair of us are trying to work out, trying to hand out pamphlets. This is great. <laughs> I'm just like I'm just in the background with advantage. I'm though. just in the background. I'm just uh, in the background. I can't like that first roll, but it's 22, and the second with advantage is a nine. But 22. All right, 22. So 22. You're, you're, you're just sitting there and just like, would you like to learn about Recyclia? Would you like to learn about Recyclia? And everyone is just like, just like, as soon as you start doing that, you can see out noticeable. Just like people are giving you like a 30 foot berth. <laughs> And, like, there's just this bubble around you. Uh, Like, people will not cross it and will not go into it to avoid talking to you. Laura, uh, Tutu is 100% safe with his espionage backstory now. (laughs) No one shall know. Nice. (laughs) Uh, So, your parents... Your parents look at you and they say... They're just shocked at the moment that you are suggesting you are... uh, Have some sort of mission with the council. And they look at you and it's like... That's like, it's, and this isn't something that you just conjured in your head, and your mother just kind of like hits him on the shoulders. Like, ah. uh, it, it's a fair question. It's really, you should probably talk to the others for more of the details, but no, um, not that I remember anyway. Uh, <laughs> um, granted, it's more their doing than mine. Uh, I'm you know, still a wanted criminal out there, so can't really go showing my face around too much. But, uh, um, they, uh, kind of got approached in this kind of secretive way, uh, to bring an offering to of peace negotiations. Um, it is kind of shitty, because the, you know, the one person, um, Lux Lumina? Was that her name? You'd have to check with them, but I think she was a, you know, dove lady. I, I kind of flail my hands out around a little, realizing that I am going in circles in this. Anyway, it to get any kind of peace that that's lasting on their end, Alderheart feels like the bandits have to operate, have to offer it, so, you know, that's why all the secrecy stuff. Your parents pause for a minute as they're just kind of taking this all in. You should really talk to someone who's, you know, got their head more screwed on, but that's the gist of it. Um, so... You need to talk to the general in private. Yeah. All of us. Why are you telling us? Like, I appreciate you're letting us kn- know what's going on in your life. 
and your dad's like, yeah, no, get, but what? Like, just please be careful when you're doing this, but just... We appreciate you telling us, it's just... Are you trying to see if we can help you? Is that what you're going at? Yeah, I'm a little, yeah. If I don't know if you can think of a way that we've been missing to either set up a meeting or have a good excuse for all of us to show up in her office relatively alone. I mean, that's, you know, not going to immediately get us banned from the camp or anything. That would be a plus. I mean, the general, like, occasionally comes down from the inner keep to check on things in the fortress proper. You might be able to try to ask her something then, but uh, I mean I, let me see if I can't talk to some people uh, I don't know if I can get you a meeting with the general or with all of you, but I can try to at least do something yeah if you can get a meeting with any of us it should probably be, be uh, Roko or Wainwright or both of them, if it has to be only a couple of us, but ideally it should be all of us try my best for you, just don't get your hopes up. I'll see what I can Yeah. I appreciate it. I know it's I know it's a lot to ask and if if you have nothing, that's fine. You know? It's we'll figure something out, but um Yeah, I mean like I said, she does come down to the fortress occasionally. If you keep an eye out for her, you might catch her or one of her lieutenants. Yeah. I don't know how you convince them to set up a meeting with you if you can't tell them outright what's going on, but, uh... You seem like a resource for a lot, if nothing else. Kind of nod and say, uh, yeah. You want to get caught up, then with, like, ev all of the little details and definitely talk to one of the others, but... Yeah. I, I think we can manage something. Thank you. Alright. Just... Okay, just be careful. I know changing the woods for the better is... Something everyone wants to aspire to. It's just... Change doesn't come without risk, you know? Yeah, I know. I kind of pause and then reach out to hug them. They go in for the hug and uh, they both just they both say so, you know. Mo just goes, we're proud of you. Hey. Appreciate it. Yeah, and then your dad pipes up and just says, just be careful, okay? Yeah. We would do. Alright. And hey, if things work out for you, maybe you can buy me and your mom a good place in Eldahar to live. <laughs> hey. Your, your mom just hits him on the shoulder again. Like, ah! <laughs> All right. Uh, him, him <laughs> Remind me to tell you later about... I actually have been in there. Granted, I, you know, had to walk around in the... Uh, uh, with the hood all the time. But Entity would just, like, start rambling about... Uh, the cool ass hotel that they stayed in. <laughs> Just piggybacking off of the others and describe what they saw of Otter Heart. And for probably as long as any of them can stand to be in the closet. <laughs> well, as you're you are their daughter, they haven't seen in months. They will sit and listen for as long as you were talking. <laughs> uh, that kind of, like, uh, after about ten minutes, Oroka will knock on the door. Tutu, you ready to come out of the closet yet? Yeah. Okay. Uh, okay. Hope you come. I'll, I'll tell you I'm just gonna slap him back the head. Says, so uh, freeze it. Damn it. All right. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we, we should probably. All uh, right. Let's get out of here. So your your friends ain't gonna be stuck in the cold much longer. As your your father leaves, your mother just kind of like holds you back for a moment. Just like, by the way, speak to you. Just curious. Wait. What? Yeah. I couldn't hear that. 
Oh, your, your father kind of like walked out of the room, but your mother kind of held your back and for a second just says, By the way, just curious, you haven't met any boys on your journey yet, have you? <laughs> what do you mean? I'm traveling with five. Uh, yeah, I'm traveling with five <laughs> men. No, uh, if you're talking romantically, no, not really. Okay. But. I was just curious. Uh, I was just curious. Fair enough. I'll let you know if you have any, you know, sudden son-in-law or kids running around. Or grandkids, I mean. But, not so far. She just kind of nods and says, Alright, okay. I'm glad to hear you're doing well. And I'm proud of you. As she walks out of the closet. There. To do a follow. <laughs> just give, like, Roko two thumbs up. Well, glad to see that one, well. Anyways! <laughs> so bisexual. <laughs> Dude, you came out no, of the that is not canon. All. <laughs> not canon. <laughs> uh, so everything went well. I, 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 I imagine you guys were on our recycling program. Well, they didn't start running screaming, so... Yeah. Um, yeah, I'm gonna talk to some people about... Uh, See if I can get you guys to be able to pitch this uh, program to the general. Well, that would be most Secret. useful. Thank you Secret. very much, Secret. Mr. Dos. Dos. Yep, yeah, just. Yeah, you can just. Uh, you can just call me uh, Fennel if you want. Ah, nice to meet you. Uh, thank you very much, Fennel. Yep. Pleasure. You have to call me M Mr. Dose, though. <laughs> <laughs> That's <a> quiet. <laughs> Apparently, the 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 bar just isn't as likable as the religious zealot cleric. <laughs> well, the problem the problem was your introduction to them was not great. That's true. <laughs> that is very true. And uh, sorry about that, by the way. Uh, <laughs> It's fine, just make sure you lock, take care of my baby girl. Yep, no worries, sir. We'll make sure nothing happens to her. You better not. <laughs> and he will, uh, he and Mrs. Dose will take their leave. <laughs> yeah, I love these Let's family get the togethers. Dirt. Maybe wish I had one. <laughs> I don't think you want to meet my parents, to be honest. Really, Rufus? You got really weird parents or something? No, they're dead. <laughs> you know, I could still have a nice chat with Okay, then. Fucking. <laughs> <laughs> could just be a very boring meeting. I'm just saying. Well, I could have a conversation with them, just so you know. <laughs> and on that note, let's press forward for the story. Yeah. <laughs> uh, let me uh, let me see how well uh, Fennel's setup is going. Rufus's new side quest, Eroko's new side quest is to find the skull of Rufus' parents so he can have a nice chat about his childhood with them. <laughs> While reciting Hamlet, just like recites Hamlet right there, but instead you're just talking to him, having a nice conversation. <laughs> That's not right, Hamlet, man. Roko just puts the like skulls on the table with some tea and just starts asking the questions like he's having a tea dinner with them. <laughs> ah! You only get five questions per day. You do know this, right? I know, but you could get a lot out of five questions. questions. For seven days. What's the most embarrassing story you can tell me about, <laughs> Rufus? So tell me everything you know about Rufus. <laughs> like, like you can make five questions. Like, if the if the soul is amenable, you can get a lot of info. <laughs> right. Anyway, um, so you guys, uh, I'm going to say at this point, you guys are resting for the night. Uh, the, unless any of you had something specific you wanted to do. Yeah, um, hey, Liren. Yes? You don't, uh, happen to be familiar with the alchemist tools, do you? Now, Liren would know this, but hold on and let me check my character sheet. <laughs> <laughs> I am not. Ah, that's a shame. All right, perhaps I'll have to ask Roku. 
Anything in particular you need? Yeah, I want to work on a device that to uh, de deter that rope a bit better. You know, covering myself with the uh, gunk doesn't seem ideal. And I figure it's a harmless contraption that we can potentially use for leverage with the uh, with the general. You get what I'm saying? Yes. Mm. Good luck with that. Thanks. All right, yeah. Well, if Liren doesn't have that, then that's all. All right. Anyone else? Uh, I guess Rufus will just, uh, after doing all of his assigned tasks for the day and uh, doing that thing with uh, Roko and Tutu, uh, let's go back and either play cards or just play his violin or something. I don't know. Okay. Um, but with that, I'm. A, we will move on to the next day. You may regain the benefits of a long rest. That's all. Uh, you guys are running through another day of training. Um, after which, uh, Jutu, your father approaches you. Okay. And, and it says, and. Um, it says, uh, so, he kind of, like, he kind of has, like, this sort of, like, beaming with pride look, like, he's, like, he did not think this would, he'd get away with this, uh, but he says, because, god, I rolled for this, I rolled a natural fucking 20 for you guys. Holy shit. <laughs> so. <laughs> we are golden gods. Thank you. Yeah. Got fucking lucky on this shit. Um, so, he comes up to you and says, Hey, kiddo. Yeah. So, your old man pulled some strings. And are you ready for this? I'm listening. I got a meeting with you for the general tonight. Oh, shit. I like, pause, and then I grin, and then I, like, jump up and hug him again. Yes! <laughs> he hugs you, right? He has this kind of look on his face, is like, yes, I am a good father. <laughs> You're the best father. <laughs> uh, well, I'm kind of glad you asked me to do this, because I got, a uh, mother off my back for a bit. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry about that. I, I kind of forgot about the book. Until did it you, was in my hand. Did you really just... Did you really, like, just smack someone over the head with it, though? A few times, yeah. I kind of broke it doing that. Did you make it hurt? Did I make... Did I what? Did you make it hurt? Did I make it hurt? Yeah, probably. I mean, I knocked the guy out, so, yeah. That a girl. I was like, did you make it hurt? I don't know. He died after I hit him with it, so maybe? <laughs> <laughs> did you make it hurt? No, Dad, the death was instant. I do not torture my victims. <laughs> but anyway. Alright, but um, there are a few stipulations, so. Yeah, I'm listening. First off, the general is never going to be by herself for this sort of thing. Okay. Second off, seeing as most of the people who asked to be part of this meeting are new, they're gonna have to leave their weapons in the barracks. Actually, hey, uh, I'm gonna look around and yell for the nearest par uh, party member who I've decided is Wainwright. No, Wainwright! What? Yeah? What's, what's going Get. on? Get! Okay, yeah, I, I, I'm I, coming. I, I, I am 1,000% there's a good chance I will forget all of this, so sorry, go on. And I assume there's a repeating of information then. Yes, yeah, so for sake of remedy we'll say he repeats the information. Yeah. Wainwright nods along. Uh, 
So yeah, the meeting's gonna be basically after dinner. If you wanna, right. just uh, like I said, the general ain't gonna be alone. She's gonna have her her lieutenant, her like right hand man by her side, because those two basically inseparable. Yeah, that don't surprise me. And no weapons. That won't be an issue. We're not here to fight. Otherwise, we'd have done so already. I kind of get that impression from you a lot, but just wanted to make sure that was crystal clear. No, yeah, that that's fine. Even if we do have to fight, half of us don't need weapons. Uh, if you if you don't mind, what do you know about her her right hand man? Now that's Big Terrence. Oddly enough, he's a straight fella. Big, where kind of wields it sort of like this too. Like, think of a quarter staff, but think of it on steroids. Like, this thing is massive. Gotcha. And what, what would you say his disposition is towards the Bird Folk Council and new recruits like us? Darren's? He doesn't talk too much. Hmm. I ain't got really a good uh, idea, but if I had to guess, he's, a, he's the general's right-hand man, so I'd probably just be similar to hers. <laughs> yeah. Wait, we did? When did that happen? When the fuck did that happen? When did that happen? Th yeah, that Should never happened. He's psychotic. No, no, no. This, oh, no. no, I know. At, with Eric. Eric's yeah, you're talking fun. about with Eric. Oh, yeah, fun. but fuck them. Yeah, that was a completely different scenario. <laughs> yeah. That was us being, like, dragged off in ropes. <laughs> Fair, but okay, if you're sure. That did happen, though. Yes, we know. But we didn't uh, kill any of them. <laughs> yeah, I, I didn't attack them over them wanting to take my weapons. I attacked them because I didn't want to be fucking tied up. I don't, again, Fair. don't need my weapons. Fair. He would have certainly had his weapon. I, I attacked <laughs> them because they were already being attacked by the party and I went, well, I might as well contribute. <laughs> yeah. Alright, uh, All right, so well, uh... So we're gonna meet in tonight. We can't take our weapons, which is to be expected. Uh, how, how many of us are gonna be privy to this meeting? Well, I know your lot's gonna... Your lot's gonna show up because... From what I hear now, they're kind of curious why so many of you want to speak with the general at once. But whether or not you're all out in the room, eh, you might, some of you might be asked to wait outside. I don't know. Gotcha. Okay. Right hand man's gonna be there. No weapons. Honestly, it sounds to me like the biggest obstacle is this right hand man of theirs. It's one thing to discuss peace with the general herself, but another voice there could mean different opinions. Hmm. I mean, you got some time before uh, you gotta go there. I mean, that I is true. Know, I don't know too much about Terrence, but someone around who's gotta, I imagine. Yeah, we'll have to ask around. But anyway. Thanks for your uh, your hard work. Uh, we do appreciate it. Mustn't have been must not have been easy. Oh yeah, you you kids better pull this off because I had to cash in some favors to this one. Yeah. I just thought of the worst oh. stupidest thing that we're not going to do, but it'd be hilarious to pull a honey pot with Tutu and him just to pull him out of the room. <laughs> Wait, a, a honey what? pot? You never heard of the term honey pot? What? No. A honeypot is when you send a female agent to seduce another agent to pull them out of a situation. Oh. <laughs> Wait, isn't that incest? What? what? No, what? What? What's what? wrong with you? <laughs> who, who are you saying is supposed to be honeypotted here? The, the, the bodyguard. The string. <laughs> <laughs> the bodyguard. Oh, you were saying two agents. <laughs> yeah, no, you're yeah, you're an agent goes to another agent. Not this your your opposing agent is a honeypot, Tutu. 
You go okay. upon the opposing <laughs> agent to pull them out. The opposing <laughs> agent being the bodyguard. What, what the fuck? Hey, anyway, you and your on. dad. Like, what the fuck? <laughs> moving on. Getting oh, away from that top God. of his mind. <laughs> Good lord. <laughs> moving on. Look, uh, I have a fever, okay? <laughs> Don't judge me for what comes out of my mouth right now. Ah, Tutu's crazy, it's fine. Anyway. <laughs> You're in character, that's it. Anyway, um, so yeah. You guys will, I will say, have about three hours to gain information before your meeting at this point. Great, so I guess okay. we split off into teams to see if we can gain information about the bodyguard, because he's the unknown factor. Yeah. Right. Uh, I guess Roka will uh, do his information gathering at the ward for Pete, just to uh, talk, bring him, bring him up in general conversations when healing people. All right. Uh, roll me a charisma investigation check. Charisma and well, investigation, or investigation with a charisma? Like, investigation with charisma modifier. Okay, it's the same thing for me. It's a plus two. I will use my channel divinity today. This is a new day. Alright. All right. Yeah. 23! Alright. So, as you're talking to, as you're talking to someone, uh... You're actually talking to what seems to be this um, little mousy fellow, uh, a Jabin. And he's like, Oh, yeah! From what I've heard about Big Terrence, he actually came from the same village as the general. They've known each other for basically their entire lives. Yeah, I mean, does seem like a very kind of open minded sort of fella, or kind of like that stoic mean sort of what? Well, he's quiet, if nothing else. Um, from what I gather, he kind of follows the general's orders. Um, and he's more of the muscle type. Gotcha, not, not big on opinions, I take it. It's not like he gives big advice in the big council room stuff. I mean, he'll give his input, but from what I hear, he's mainly quiet and will just go and usually just follows the general's orders. Oh, I see, I see. Well, it makes sense. I mean, he is the, the, her bodyguard and all. Yeah, but, you know, really interesting thing, though. Apparently, he has a killer blueberry muffin recipe. No kidding! That's what I ask, heard. I'll have to ask him about it sometime. If you ever get us. I mean... Listen, as long as you don't tell him my name when you ask him that, we should be fine. Don't worry about it, Pop. Thanks a lot, though. That was nice. I mean, I just want to try to get to know everybody around here in case I got to heal them up. Trying to work on my bedside manner. So having some personal information about everybody helps. You know, spark up small conversations and all that when I do things like this. And he snaps his shoulder back in place. Ah! <laughs> See? <laughs> well, you got a good point there. You distracted me. I, I wasn't focusing on it for a while. That's pretty good. <laughs> <laughs> Roko is the is my favorite cleric I've ever experienced in D and D, hands down. Like I swear, um, it's great. Yeah. So Roko, as you spend your time in the uh, medical ward, uh, what are well, the rest of you? I'm gonna go ask my parents if they know anything about about this guy. All right, so Wayne, right, you were present. Kind of like you saw this conversation, like you didn't hear the details, but you saw this conversation happening at the end of the hall and a sudden scream. Uh, but I look over, see Roko, and it doesn't shock me. <laughs> uh, but you're asking your parents, um, uh, if, yeah, if they know anything about this right hand man. Um, sorry, Wayne, right, but I haven't really heard much of this, uh, big Terrence character. Oh, that's that's all good. I just thought maybe you've been here a while. Maybe you've heard something or other. Uh, sorry, we haven't really gotten out the medical ward here too much. Uh, don't worry about it. Don't stress yourselves. Oh, it's no worries. Um, like, me, like your boss said, once he's ready to go, we'll probably be trekking down the mountainside and trying to... Make our way back to Ashbro, see what's there. Hello? I'll, I'll make sure that I'm able to come along with you. Make sure you get there safe. Thank you, sweetie. 
your, your pa uh, pick, uh, starts uh, talking to us. Out of curiosity, son, why are you so interested in this big town, so? Well, uh, someone's organized us a meeting with the the general and Big Terrence, and frankly, I'd never really heard of it much before now. So I just wanted to figure out what it was like. What are you meeting with the general for, son? Just got some ideas we want to discuss. You know, we may be new here, but don't mean we ain't got ideas. Just, uh... We're trying to do what's best for all of our heart. And just kind of nod. Alright. Uh, unless there's anything else you want to say, Wainwright, or... Um, no. No, just that. Other than, like, general small talk and making sure that they've been alright. Yeah, I mean, they've been true fairly well all things considered um they your mother hasn't really been leaving the medical ward to go sleep elsewhere so she's just it's, it's pretty obvious she like hasn't really slept in an actual bed in a while but that maybe but that seems to be more of her own volition um Wait, what time of the day is it still in the morning right uh no this is about the afternoon okay yeah, you guys had a full um, day of like, work, and then Tutu's dad came to you guys about the meeting after. Right. Well, I'll say I'll say to my mom just before I go. Um, Ma, do you want to go take a nap in an actual bed? I can watch over dad for a while. Oh no, no, no! And then your dad just pipes up. He's like, "Go get some sleep, honey. Just you gotta you gotta keep your strength up. I'll be fine." She just goes, and she just kind of, she looks exhausted, and she just, there's a little bit of a back and forth, but they kind of, she, eventually she just kind of nods, says, all right, all right, I'll, um, be back in a few hours, don't worry, I'll still be here, not like I can do anything else. <laughs> I'll, I'll be watching over him as well, don't you worry, nothing will happen while you're gone. She kind of, like, just nods tirelessly, she says, thank you. Eventually, you can see her leave the room. Alright, I'll just chill there. My dad, if he says anything, I'll respond, but I won't hold it. Much more conversation. Alright, next up, then. Anyone else? Uh, what's anyone else trying to do to gather information? Or just fuck around? I'm gonna invite you. Fucking around, you say? <laughs> Recycling? <laughs> no, Rufus can do his thing first. I was actually just gonna say I was gonna invite Ian or Lyran to go and play cards, see if we can gather information from lower level. Uh, oh, you see, the re the recycling isn't going to do itself, Andy. Fair enough. <laughs> I mean, he, I mean, we usually have drinks there, so you could probably no. uh, you know promise. I got an drink. idea. Um, hey, 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 Rufus, I got an idea. Let's hear it. Well, I beat you in cards. You help me recycle. If not, I just go recycle. How much? How do you think it would be to recycle? I don't know. Rufus is gonna weigh his options. This is, hey, you know what? I kind of, I am kind of curious to see what you're doing while you're recycling. Not sure. Let's do this. <laughs> Fuck yes. <laughs> Lyra, you in? No, I'll just continue doing what I'm doing. And I am maintaining concentration on an unseen servant just who's just cleaning and I'm reading. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, time well spent. Uh, you know what? For six we, we have the cleanest barrack in all the barracks in all the land. That's what I've been doing for the last three days. <laughs> Between Lyron, Roko, and Ian, we have done nothing but pick up trash. <laughs> Yeah, this is a uh, clean ass base. Yep. For, for sake of shits and giggles, the two of you who are going out recycling may make me investigation checks to see how well your recycling goes. <coughs> Zero. Fourteen. Fifteen. 
I'm gonna I'm gonna disable uh, 3D dice because that shit was annoying. So, uh, I will take the higher of your two rolls since you're going together. <laughs> uh, your cycling goes fairly well. You go to the mess hall, pick up some bottles, and you know, like, you find some like broken glass here and there that needs to like. A candle holder that's just kind of like a glass candle holder that kind of like cracked, and you're like, ah, well, useless. Uh, yeah, guys, get some good amount of recycling done. Are, are you dumping it in the ravine? Like, not the ravine, uh, the kind of like gap between the uh, fort and the rest of the mountain. What else are you I'm going to look to Ian and just follow whatever he is doing because he's the guy that's been operating this entire thing. All right, Ian, what are you doing with all your recyclables? <laughs> My plan was very self-explanatory. We put it into the moat to make the moat more dangerous to cross. Okay, so you, I will say, because this is funny, and the people who are operating the moat door are curious as to what you're doing, they, they lower down the drawbridge and watch you just dump the big... No. He, Ian is going to break and make large glass shards and break up the glass bottles before he puts them in there. I mean, okay. we, could, we could toss them to near the riverbank and they'll smash and they'll be carried by the. Oh, water. there's no, there's no. This river is more here. fun. This is more or fun. Mode, whatever. Yeah. Sorry. Yeah, the moat. Fair enough. The moat is basically just a big hole. Yep. So. Okay, so you go over and you dump your sack of broken glass just into the moat and you just kind of get some looks and one guy just kind of like looks at you on your way back and is like what do you do that for? I do have to admit that seems, that seems very counterintuitive to uh, what Roker has in mind for recycling. I mean we're giving it another use are we not? That's fair enough. My argument is sound, and Ian walks away. <laughs> what are you, a cop? You know you have to legally tell me if you're a cop, right? <laughs> <laughs> they do not actually, Farron. No, no, they don't. That's completely fake. It's a, it's a fake thing. <laughs> they just... like to keep the myth. They like to keep the myth alive. <laughs> yeah. But uh, I mean, even as someone like that didn't know that that was even a myth, I was like, why would they even need to? That seems like a really stupid idea. <laughs> Yeah. Ian, 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 Rufus, you guys are getting some weird looks. <laughs> so, Ian this does guy. not care. He did his job. Uh, Rufus is well done. Nudge me in and just say, oh. so is this what you've been doing like the entire time? Yeah. You know, I can't help but feel like we probably could use those balls to, you know, pour more balls. drinks in. Bottles. Sorry. I mean, that's another use for it. You can take yours and do that with them. I'm gonna keep doing my thing. Fine. No, I, I smashed all my balls with you. I'm just like, I'm just thinking outside the box well, here. We'll do it in uh, the future. Yeah. <laughs> quick, quick housekeeping question, Michael. Does Roko got a time to take a short rest before the meeting? I'll say yes. Your uh, investigation would not be considered a heavy task in this scenario since you're mostly just sitting by people. Yep. Uh, and then that was. Am I missing anyone? I don't think I am. Oh, Tutu. Tutu. Are you doing anything for investigations? Laura oh. can't speak right now, Michael. Can't Sorry. Speak. Uh, I can speak. It just takes a long couple of seconds to do it. Uh, not really. Uh, I, I, I'm just being very grateful for, you know, having a father who's good at rolling that 20s, you know. Apparently your mother too, because I rolled to see uh, what if she would catch what he said earlier about the porn, and she rolled a natural twenty. I'm like, you fuck! I gotta not use that die from now on. Holy I think shit. it's it must be weeded. <laughs> nice, but no, I I don't think I'm really doing much of anything. Maybe tasks around basic tasks around the fort, but not much. All right. So, all right. So in that case, you guys get your dinner, and the time for your meeting has come. Now, are you... Um, really real, real, real quick, before... So while everyone else is doing stuff, when I'm just chilling there in the medical ward while my mom rests, can I do some tinkering? Uh... Sure. 
Uh, I'll I'll say so you can get a little tinkering done. All right, I want to start work on the like the little dispersal pod of the launcher. Okay. Uh, you already built the materials for it, correct? I I built the um the launcher. I haven't built anything else yet. That's all the work I've done on the on that okay. bit. So okay. I want to start, even if it's just like designing or tinkering of the the actual pod that it launches up to disperse the uh, chemical or whatever. Okay. Uh, yeah, roll me an intelligence tinkering check to get the design for that pod specifically. Oof. You're blowing through some pretty bad ideas. Like you start working on one thing and then just eh, it's not working, and then you you start another. You're not, you didn't really make much progress on this, unfortunately. That's so good. Uh, All right. Before we head into the office, though, Roko turns to Rufus. So you got this, right? You know how to handle all the negotiations. <laughs> Rufus is like, uh, like I said, my job was to not uh, stand out, but I can tr definitely try. What's your persuasion score? You know, if it was a generalization of between, let's say, 1 and 30. <laughs> uh, let's see. An 8. Well, that beats me. Good luck! And I will enhance ability on you for when we need persuasion checks. Thank okay. you, thank you. Um, so... Are you guys leaving your weapons in the barracks? Or are you trying to sneak any in? What are you guys doing? Well, Rocco doesn't. Oh, Rocco oh. will leave his weapons behind. Yeah, I, I, I abandoned my weapons. His, his, his one used, deadly though. dagger and his one dagger and crossbow. He <laughs> very yeah, reluctantly my, my, leaves his weapons. Right. My two uh, daggers and my weapons. crossbow. I already have natural quills for damage, so I'm fine. <laughs> I have my antlers too, but I don't want to fucking leave my shit around, dude. Hold on, uh, whoa there, big guy. Gotta cough those anchors. Uh, you fucking anchors. touch them, you will die. For a second, I'm just kidding. Don't worry. Here, here's something really weird. If I bring a short sword, that will be just as effective as my bite. No, actually, my bite is more effective than a short sword. <laughs> <laughs> nice. So... I have a weapon. <laughs> I am. That's so besides your natural weapons, which you cannot remove, sorry, uh, sorry, without yeah. something very painful happening, um, you're all leaving your weapons, though, is what I'm gathering. Yeah, nobody's yes. taking their weapons. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Cool. You're then brought in. Uh, you guys go to the inner keep, uh, where you are escorted to the inner keep. Uh, Captain Captain Learn actually comes by because why not him? Uh, because... yes. Well, well, it seems you're making quite a wave around here. You've got, you lot apparently have a meeting with the general in only a few days. Well, I like to think it's due to my influence, of course. But, that, but never this or that. Come along, you've got, you've got a meeting to get to. Yep, gotta get a recycling program already. Yep. Let's hope that the uh, presentation goes over well. Yes, yes, I've heard all about your recycling program. I've even seen this guy carrying a bunch of bottles. Around, as he points to uh, Ian. He is a true <laughs> champion of the cause. Yes, yes, yes. Well, I hope your recycling plan goes through. It sounds very lovely. Uh, as he starts escorting you guys up into the inner keep. You guys. Are moving. To if I can find there you are here. That's spooky. Uh, as you guys are coming up, uh, if you'd like to place yourselves over on the stairs. Thank you. Hey, Benny. Hey, George. <laughs> hey. What's up? I'll get there in one second. No worries, we're just role-playing for now, so you sh Unless something goes to shit, you shouldn't need a token. Second flame! <laughs> yeah. Alright, lock your token. Look what I do. Summons a flamethrower. <laughs> Alright, let's do this shit. <laughs> I immediately uh, cast Wishes uh, Mockery on the Battle Leader and just tell them how much they suck. Is that just how you fucking greet people? Yes. <laughs> so... Yeah, I um, can get behind that. 
<laughs> so, um, Captain Learn, it says, hey, gentlemen, uh, we've got a very important meeting to get to. Like, yeah. That's a token for Learn It. I don't have a token for Learn It. Get on that. <laughs> on. Says the man who just grabbed a deer head for his token. I spent a literal hour looking around and I did not want to use furry fan art, so I just went with this. You know, very fair. You know, what, I literally, I? I'm literally just using art from the book for my token. Yeah. There was no art of pronghorns in the book. Wait, really? It's, it's a tiny girl. Surely. Can you still use that? No. Hey, yo. <laughs> there you go. Captain, learn it. There you go. He's yes. Let's see. Ah, damn it. He's a he's moose. A moose. God. <laughs> he's a moose. There you go. Ah, so he looks friendly on the outside, but he's actually terrifying on the inside. Yep. Uh, uh, all right, all right. Have you open to me? As he leads you guys into here, and uh, you guys can all just move into this room. Can we? Can. Already. Hey, Charlie. <laughs> <laughs> Are you sure that's all their names? Uh, hello, Betty! Hello, Sue! <laughs> Is that their, na their actual name? My name's names, Tommy. <laughs> Dick. <laughs> anyway. Alright. The general said she'll speak to you, but she doesn't want all of you in at once. That's okay. Right. I think uh, just um, me and my good friend... Uh, Rufus here are planning, I mean, we're the ones who really are the brain trust behind this program. Uh, Rufus is gonna nudge. Yeah. Maybe Tutu as well. So, no, Tutu, too, uh, too, too, since she's, uh, was the inspiration of the leader. Tutu was about to volunteer to wait outside and just, like, looks like, well, the deer in the headlights for a second. It's like, sure. That's my look. Get out of here. <laughs> All right. Well, three of you are allowed in, so. Uh, oh god, okay. If you're sure. Yep. You sure you don't want to go Wayne, Wayne Wright? I, I don't mind. I can... I mean, honestly, Wayne Wright, we probably should have somebody what, competent watching the other two. <laughs> Just in case things go <laughs> south. <laughs> yeah, alright. I'll wow. be on this... babysitting duty. Okay. This on fucking Tutu, Ian, and Lyran. They know what they the are. The world would burn. <laughs> <laughs> we just look outside and just the entire bandit camp's on fire to see one of the towers just collapse. So do we just have to wait like out, out like heal? Yeah, you guys, you guys are basically being asked to wait in this room here. Uh, in okay. Uh, how do you quickly Definitely. spell the okay. name of the uh, general again? Uh. The general is Benna Suridan. Uh, I got it, I got it. Okay. okay. That was close. Uh, nope. It's S-E. S-E? Yep, it is. Her last name is S-E-R-I-D-A-N. S-E-R... Just got it. So, well, I fucked that up. So, the three of you are escorted into a new room. Uh, Roko, this is a room that is familiar to you. As, let me get you guys all moved over there. As Tutu, uh, and Tutu and uh, Rufus, you may put yourselves onto the uh map there yep and she and what you see here is a small room a stone tiled floor uh there are two chairs in front of you with a with a uh, large oaken desk in front of those sitting behind it seems to be this uh curvin woman uh she has for sake of simplicity here is her portrait but she has what seems to be the sort of like scarred up face um, and she wears a sort of red bandana over one half of her face covering her eye and her 
ear. Um, her other ear seems to be scorched on the edges, and she's wearing what seems to be this heavier armor with this white, uh, I mean, this yellow tunic over it. Uh, to her side, you see a, a sword. Um, you also see what you are presuming is Big Terrence, as you see this, like, almost six and a half foot <laughs> My god, what man. a fucking unit. <laughs> this almost six and a half tall strig man with this basically this large like it's a, like a quarter staff but it is on steroids you would assume this would hurt as much as ian's ducky mall <laughs> uh, no armor though he seems to be wearing robes uh and other such things and he's just sitting there in a chair staring at all of you and the chair seems a little too small for him <laughs> hey mark how's it going I don't think his name. Uh, you know he what, just stares before. at you. Uh, Benna just looks at you and says, Ah, it's all of you. Well, it's a number of you. Please come sit down. Um, didn't think I'd be seeing you in my office again so quickly there, Roko. Well, we really want to discuss our new program with you. Yes, this recycling program I've been hearing about. Yep. Right, Rufus? We would like to formally offer a, uh... <laughs> Rufus well. is just trying to figure out a way not to, uh... He's, like, work scared, like, I don't really want to say it, because I know I probably could get decapitated by that club alone. <laughs> hey, can I ask you a personal question, if you don't mind? He says to the captain, or the general. Yeah. Lifts the exposed eyebrow and just says, I suppose I could do something like that for you, yeah. I was just curious, you seem to really care about your people out here. You seem like a very kind and generous sort of leader. Well, I have standards for myself. I cannot be treating those who are working for the cause poorly, for we're all in for the same goal and we all face similar problems. Yeah. I want to help them. Exactly. It's all about helping people. We want to keep the sanctity of life going, right? I mean, let's be honest. The world's in a shitty spot, and the last thing we all need is the world to tear itself apart, honestly. It's kind of what this recycling right program's all about. Especially with the uh, burning of uh, the Scorched Grove, I think it would be best if we counteract uh, some of the Damages caused by our people. And do you think this recycling program is going to help with that? Well, it's kind of a com <laughs> combination strategy of recycling, right, Rufus? Yes. As... Uh, are we going to keep dancing around the topic, or are we just going to say it bluntly? Rufus is going to say. It. Rufus is going. Rufus is going to just kind of just put his hands together, and just kind of pat them. For a second, then he's gonna say it out loud. He's like, "Unfortunately, this program would require some uh, cooperation with some unsavory folk. It's kind folk of that we it's a the bit of a brow when you say that. I am <laughs> fully aware of." Uh, our general disposition to uh, the Council of Elderheart. But I think it might be in our best interest for the time being at least until the Scorch Grove can be restored to make a peace settlement between the camps the bandit camp and Elder Hearts. You can kind of like see her put down her pen and just says, this isn't about recycling, is it? Well, it kind of is in a roundabout way. We're trying it's to not really. <laughs> Due to you uh, being blunt, just tell me what's going on. Uh, okay. Uh, okay. So we got an offer from Lux Lumina, is that her name? Uh, yes. 
Dev, dev lady on the council. Yeah. She looked at us. You know, very clandestine meeting. Uh, really these guys. I was kind of just following them around at this point. At that point. And asked us to approach you with uh, an offer of peace. Between uh, Alderheart and the bandit tribes. Yeah, or... Oh, sorry. I, if I remember right, it was more... She would be interested in making peace, but needs you to formally extend the peace offering, if I remember right. Yes. Look, here's the thing. We all know that the real problem here isn't the Bird Council or the Bandits or any of this. The real problem is that Scorching Grove. And as long as we're all at each other's throats, we're never going to make peace. The Scorching Grove will grow, and sooner or later, it's going to go all the way to this mountain. That's not it. If we don't work together, we're all screwed. Ma'am, if I can be bold, um, if I can say, I don't think that the, uh, at least the fortress here, cannot be sustainable as long as we are either fighting the, both the Grove and the Council at the same time. We need to pick our battles here. I'm not saying that it needs to be permanent, but I'm just, I'm merely suggesting that we, uh, at least we keep it temporary. Uh, roll me a, give me the last one this week, I'll say roll me a persuasion. Uh, At advantage! Huzzah! She takes a deep breath and she says, And was this solely the work of Vima Luxembourg? She's the one that extended the peace head, yes. She's the one main counselor who wants to try to create peace. To be honest, and I'm just giving an opinion here, we extend the peace and maybe we can start making some valid changes. And do you have any sort of documentation or proof of this? How I can't I remember, Michael, did we? It's been so long. <laughs> yes, you, you guys received a letter. Yes, uh, uh, Roko will pull the letter out then. She, Terrence will get up. Stand menacingly above you. Roko will just smile at him and hand him the letter. <laughs> the hand her. <laughs> He will take the letter from you and he will hand it to her and then he will go back and sit down. Rufus is preparing invisibility spells that way he can run. <laughs> first chance. There is a window right over here, just for your information. Yeah. Just uh, dive right through. I, wait, I can't fly now. Damn it. Baron <laughs> <laughs> 3, everybody. <laughs> uh... She takes a moment, and you can see her go for her letter opener, and she breaks the wax seal on it and opens it. And you can see her take a minute to read it over. Interesting, as she puts it down. And you can see her, like, stand up and go over to the window. Shove her out. <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad I'm not the only one that thought that. <laughs> yes, the group of the group of small sized creatures trying to push out the medium sized one. Hey, at the same time, we could probably do it. Uh, Roko's actually medium. Oh, that's right. I oh, nice. Matt hey, patches are long. Right. Yeah, Matt patches are about oh, four okay. and a half, five feet. They're not tiny. They're they're dwarf size. Yeah. But um, she yeah, dwarf. She she just kind of is looking out the window and she says, "And am I simply supposed to trust the council is going to offer us aid at this moment now? That they're going to simply let bygones be bygones and every, once this scorched grove business is over, look, every, oh sorry, everything will just be fine between us. There will be no, my men will be fine, my my people will be fine." 
Look, I can't honestly promise you 100%. I wish I could say that this could be resolved here and now. And I uh, promise... Uh, uh, sorry. Just real quick. Remember that we have that, like, the peace treaty thing to go to them under? That way that yes, they can't I know, be Yes, I know, but that parlaying. is still a uh, matter of trusting the Bird Council... I mean, a peace treaty is only as valid as their uh, as the uh, opposing party is willing to keep uh, uh, keep it honest, right? Like, yep. yeah, but, there's oh, yeah, there's the trust there too. Is. Yeah, and I'm assuming that the letter the had that in there, right? <laughs> yeah, uh, she, she knows the details. Yeah, yeah. So I mean, like at this point, it's just convincing her that they're not going to backstab her the second they have the opportunity to. That's what I'm I'm trying to get to. Right. Yeah, I was just. Because nobody's mentioned it specifically, so I was just making sure we all remembered it. Yeah. Uh, Roku just goes, Look, I can't promise you, honestly, because I'm not part of the Bird Council. How come one of you guys, right? I'm not feathery. But the fact is, is that if we don't work together as a group to take care of the Scorch Grove, and if we keep fighting each other like this, it's not going to matter in the end. We're all going to lose. I know it's going to be hard to trust them, and I give you my word at least, that I will do everything I can to make sure everybody here is taken care of and not harmed. Roko, make me a persuasion check. Oh, goody. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> I'm on fire oh, tonight, boys! <laughs> Alright then. <sighs> Beautiful. This conversation's going well so far. She looks at you and she says, And how can I ensure that your word is as good as the council's? Well, I mean, I can swear upon my goddess if you like. If you haven't figured it out, I take her rather seriously. But, I suppose the other thing we can do is, um, hmm, let me see here. Any kind of insurance I could give you that you would like to have? Perhaps we could uh, offer services in exchange for uh, at least the consideration. She pauses for another moment, and Roka, what's your passive insight? Uh, passive insight would be a 16. Okay. You can see that she's thinking for a moment, but what catches her attention is she looks up over at, like, near the ceiling over in this corner. For a moment, and then looks back at you. Swear to me upon your god. I swear upon Goddess Recyclia, all that is about the reincarnation and your reusability of life. But I will do everything within my power to make sure that you and yours are taken care of and that the Bird Council will not do anything to harm you and your people. Up to and including fucking up the Bird Council. <laughs> Give Roku like a thumbs up. Sorry, go on. I don't continue. No, I just give Roku a thumbs up. That's all. She looks down at that. Then she looks over at Big Terrence. Who just kind of nods. Like one single nod and then continues sitting. And she walks back over to a desk and she says. <sighs> and she looks at you all for a moment. And then you can see her reach for her head as she removes the bandana. Uh, uh, that covers a portion of her face. And you can see on underneath that she is horribly burned her left ear is completely gone and her eye uh, can barely be seen under this warped flesh as she says to you the fires of the scorch grove have burned away everything that I loved corruption at elder heart ensured that it could not be saved nor salvaged they have turn people away for a very long time and those they take in nowadays I'm being told are treated very are being left to rot in the roots how am I supposed to trust a council of people who don't even take care of their own people why should I trust that they'll 
take out mine. I think the only solution we have here, and I agree with you, this is not just a matter of making peace. Get something out of it! Try this, like, this is a negotiation to end this problem. It's just as big their problem as yours. Maybe, just maybe, if we work with them, we can try to get representation of the other races in the council. An olive branch usually is uh, much more, pr uh, much better at uh, offering offering new opportunities than vinegar, man. Why don't you make me a persuasion check? Go for it, my friend, with advantage. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, yes! <laughs> oh, fuck <laughs> yes! We are the most Four persuasive. Nine, twenty, <laughs> boys. All right. How many match twenties has that been like? In the session. I, four. Between your four. dad, your mom, and all of you? A two, lot. Two, yeah, a lot. It's f it's f counting the mom and dad, too. That's five today. Six if you count the fact that I rolled double nat 20 on that one. No, that's the five. <laughs> on the inside. Oh, no, yeah, six. You guys You're are right. on fire tonight. Well done. We are, yes. we are making peace. Yeah, no, plan D is as X at this point. Uh, so... She, like, puts her elbows on her desk, and she says, You know, that's not a bad idea, actually. And tell me. You were sent here by, by Lima Lux Lutima, but I am told in this letter that the council sent you here as well for a much less agreeable task. Yeah, they want us to bring you in chains. We don't really like that idea. Once we got to know you, at least. You seem like good people! Thank you. I tried my I try my best to keep us on the up and up as I can. Now how do you present to bring this proposal to the council? It'd probably be best to give it to uh uh Lima instead and have her search show the message. She's probably a lot more nuanced in the uh, council's affairs than we are. Yep. No, but I'm... Dark. Her plan is for me to make a declaration of negotiations known as a... Just make me... Making, going back to my notes here, making sure I have, I'm saying this right. Uh, hold on. Ah, where is it? Where is it? Ah, she wants me to make an Amerian Pax with the council. I can't simply offer it only to her for her to then bring it to the council as... That would be... Oh, sorry. That would spoil the, the nature of this meeting. Look, I think I know... The council gave us the opportunity. They hired us to try to get rid of the bandit problem. They never yelled us how to. Tony left it up to us. This seems like a solution. <laughs> Wait, really? Yep. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> oh. I mean, I have an idea. Interesting. You need Interesting a... tactic. <laughs> you need a... Uh... I guess it depends on how much they recognize me, but, you know, send someone who's wanted in, in uh, Otter Hearts as a gesture of good faith for how seriously you're taking this. I mean, I'm wanted there. I've already been following these guys around. I don't think... Roko's got a really little generally confused. But I've seen a few flyers this... around. Yeah. Wait, you're wanted in Elder Heart? Yeah. Really? Huh, you think you could have mentioned that to us when you were traveling around the streets when we went to the town guard? <laughs> to the guard? Why do you think I disappeared so often? Oh, fair enough. Um, well, yeah, maybe that's a suggestion, but as I said, our best bet I is mean, to go in there. Oh, sorry. I mean, my idea is basically send me as your, you know, gesture of good faith for starting this alliance or. I guess really any wanted criminal. Let them, you know, hang on to me until the peace talks. 
And I mean, I'm already, I've already been kind of out and around, so you're not really losing much. And I don't know if you know much about my story, but there's a lot of brain damage back here. So again, not losing much. And I mean, we could also possibly start a PR campaign in Elderheart. Yeah. <laughs> That'd be the day. <laughs> You'd be amazed how good I am at people and flyers. <laughs> right. <laughs> Rufus just looks to Roko as literally earlier that day. <laughs> well, that was intentional trying to get people to go away, though. <laughs> God. Yeah. Very well. I will leave this to your discretion as the go-between for us and the council as you seem to be connected to both at this point. Give me a moment. Uh, as she spends the next probably 20 so minutes uh, drafting some sort of letter. Uh, eventually <laughs> she also uh, seals it with wax and she will hand it to Tutu. Well, actually she'll hand it to uh, Terrence and then Terrence will hand it to Tutu. Okay, I take it. Uh, I'll kind of put it on the in the into the inside of my armor. <laughs> Sorry. Oh, oh, good see you. I hope that you succeed in getting the council to come to this negotiation. Though I cannot promise you that we will be able to reach peace treaties. I will give you my word, I will at least try. That, that's only it. That's only we can only ask for. And we will do everything we can to try to put butter on up to make this work. Yeah. I wish you luck. I know that you're most likely going to be you're most likely going to meet resistance initially, especially if my memory serves correctly. Oaken Wit is going to probably be opposed to this in all regards. Yeah, well, fuck him! <laughs> <laughs> yes, fuck him indeed. <laughs> Out of curiosity, what makes you. What made you risk coming all the way here? Do, Do you mean... really desire at least that much? Well, to be honest. When we heard about the peace thing, we wanted to make sure, we wanted to see what you guys were like before we made a decision. We wanted to make, stop the violence one way or the other, but when we saw you guys were all nice and friendly, we're like, no, oh, yeah, peace is the best way. I mean, if you had been like, a, like the regular bandits of like beating the shit out of people and slave trading, things probably would have gone different. <laughs> well, I mean, occasionally we beat the shit out of people, but it's their shit heads. No, don't get me wrong, I'm referring to, like, slave trading and murdering children and that kind of crazy shit. What kind of people do you take us for? We are civilized, nothing else. Look, I'm just saying, it's not unheard of that there's bandits like that. <laughs> I suppose human traf or humanoid trafficking isn't, the, isn't unheard of. But I can assure you no one in my organization, at least to my knowledge, has partaken in that. Well, exactly. That's why we saw that you people seem reasonable and the type that we need to make a better world with. And honestly, I don't care much for the board council's choices of leaders. <laughs> you can say that again. Yeah, and that's just the head ones, too. I mean, there was this asshole we met! And he just starts ranting. <laughs> she, she's just nodding like she closes one eye, her one eye, just like, yep. Yeah, yep, what, right. what a crane! What a shit! Trying us to get a kill an innocent nice lady! <laughs> let me guess. Let me guess. She wasn't even a she wasn't a bird folk, right? Oh she no, just, just a sort of... fucking hedge, right? Like Jesus, what an asshole! <laughs> yep, that sounds about right. Like that they yep, saw yep. skulls out there, they were fucking flowers. <laughs> yep, nope. Fucking I mean, people uh, people and other hot wonder why bandits come here, why we have so many people here. But I'm That's kidding. Kind of <laughs> I'm just, um, just like, <laughs> fuck him. Fuck God. But nope, nope, we're, just, we're trying to get along now. We're trying to make things better. Exactly. Let, get rid of the shitheads and let's get some nice good people in there. By the way, Michael, is the Burke Council an elected thing? 
Sort of. Um, the positions underneath them are elected by people. Um, generally, how it works is each of the bird folk councils, while they do represent the interests of the specific bird folk races uh, that they are a member of, each of them also bears certain responsibilities towards the civilization's um, functions. Uh, and this is just general information that you guys would know. Yeah. That's uh, for example, Lima Lux, yeah, Lima Lux Luna represents also religious interests. So, uh, a person on the council is always supposed to have some sort of religious background. Yeah. So there are certain backgrounds you need to have before you could become a member of the council. Yeah, well, I mean, I just refer. There, it's not an inheritance. They're not kings and princes. They're they're literally. No. Like, they're some sort of elected officials. Yeah. Great. Roko's gonna okay, have a new cool. pamphlet set up for here pretty quick. <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> the fuzzy party. So, <laughs> and that's where I'm gonna have to draw the line. <laughs> God. Uh so uh Mana looks at all of you and she says I hope things go I hope your mission goes well, and I will do my best to ensure that things over on this end go well as well. I don't know if everyone here is going to be willing to accept this peace negotiation, but I feel as if the majority of people are mostly tired of this. Well, if we can get a few people to uh, make peace, then that's better than having yeah. everybody still fighting. Exactly, and let's be honest, it's not a racist thing, we got bird folks here. It's just like we just gotta make sure the councils are to take responsibility for the bullshit. No, don't get me wrong, humble folk are often ignored by the council and other bird folk officials. Oh, we of are course. just better than them in that regard. Exactly, so I mean the best thing to do is get our own representation in the council when this is all over. Yes, yes. Definitely be interested in that. Well, I don't. Well, I'm assuming you'll be spending the night, but I assume you'll be heading out in the morning. Probably for the best. Get this done as quick as possible. Peace is imp time's essential for peace. Yes. I'll. If this meeting is set up, I will have. I'll spread out word that banditry activity will be put on pause for negotiations. That would be very res useful and respectful. Oh, one more question. Yes. Roku will take out his map. Do you know what this fucking tweet is about? Wait, what was it? He takes out uh, the map because you know what this fucking tree is about? <laughs> oh, the tree. <laughs> uh, no. I don't... You guys wait too long to clue in on what Peace was doing. No, no, I just misunderstood him. Uh. Uh, I still don't know what the fuck he's talking about. what he was saying. He took out the map, and I was like, ah. Yep, <laughs> I'll, I'll explain to you in a minute, Laura, but uh, she looks at it and says, No, I'm not certain what that tree is. There's not too many people who live past the mountain range. Okay, I was just wondering if you might have heard something. It's driving me nuts! <laughs> no. Ask about the lake, ask about the lake. <laughs> Also, by the way, you might want to update your map is where, like, Roko takes out, like, a blue crayon and just, like, circles a spot. There's this giant lake with death monsters here. You probably want to keep your bandits away from there. Oh, you mean... What I'm like? Yeah, it's on my map. As she pulls out her own map, and it's, like, a nicer, more refined version of the map, and you can see what seems to be a, a lake there. Son of a bitch! I'm gonna yeah. kill this fucker who sold me this map! <laughs> And I, I'm just gonna look to uh, Roko's map, and as a cartographer, I just cringe at it as him as he colors it in with crayon. It's like, oh, that's 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 nasty. Dude, crayon is the best medium to write shit in. Don't insult me. <laughs> that's all. That's all Ian knows how to write in crayon. Um, <laughs> but sorry, you got a bullshit map it seems but um she folds her back hers back up and uh puts it away and says now unless there's actually anything serious you want to talk about before oh, no. you leave i would suggest now okay well uh, thank you very much for oh sorry Toto. no uh i'd just suggest that we if you know if that was part of your letter of 
me being the jester of goodwill, no one in this room should tell my parents or they will lose their absolute shit. That mm -hmm. I will leave up to you. I made no mention of that in the letter. Okay. Fair enough. We'll, I guess we'll figure out if we need it or not when we get there. Probably for the best. Yeah. Very well. Alright, well... I wish you luck on your journey. Safe travels. I hope Jumbo doesn't get his claws on any of you. Ah, oh, don't worry. It's not like someone's going to turn into a spider then turn back and get carried away again. Rucko says as he leaves. <laughs> <laughs> You're making these references I have no context for. <laughs> don't worry about it. <laughs> <laughs> so, you guys... So eventually, you guys uh, leave the room. I'm assuming. Yeah, we leave. Yeah. <laughs> we get we gather the party. Good news, guys! We've got peace talks on the way. The recycling program. Uh, Do you fucking works. announce that in the no, no, list? Sorry, like, in a yeah, room yeah, full of. No, it's just the recycling peace talks. <laughs> like, the recycling talks, peace talks have gone on the way. We will make peace with Mother Earth. <laughs> So, you guys leave. Uh, let's call for a quick 10 minute break because I had to pee, and also Laura. Yeah. The, ch the tree Roko is referencing. <laughs> Give me a second. Let me know when that map comes up for you. Uh, it's up. Alright. So, you see in the far northeast corner of the map. This. Oh, oh, that, <laughs> that one. tree over there. It has been bugging Roko forever. <laughs> I and that, that's going to be the epilogue to this campaign, is your guys' journey to that tree. <laughs> yeah. Alright, I'm going to pee, I'll be back. Okay. Well, guys, that... Uh, oh, sorry. That could not have gone better for you, though. <laughs> that was about to say, yeah, like, that shit. was one hell of a perfect swing, guys. Yeah, no kidding, Jesus. Yeah. Yeah, that, think... uh, that enhanceability was quite nice there, Heath. Thank you for that. Yeah. Yeah. Well, like, you have the highest person. How the fuck do you have an eight, by the way? What are your stats? Uh, ten How strength, you... sixteen dexterity, uh, sixteen constitution, eleven intelligence, twelve wisdom, and uh, eighteen charisma. Wow. Oh, how, and then proficiency. Oh, expertise, proficiency. Your expertise. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, yeah. I love the bard. Fucking well, no, it's it's what was showing me off is this plus two, then plus six, and I'm like, why the fuck do you have a plus six? It should technically see plus four, plus four, but whatever. <laughs> they got yeah. me confused. Uh, yeah, it's all right. Yeah. <laughs> I am the ultimate negotiator. Yeah, I mean, Roko's right sorry. behind you. <laughs> <laughs> sorry, I. I didn't fuck things up, but I admit I could have fucked things up by just being blunt, but it's also... I, I think you were necessary to keep the bluntness, because Roko, just by his nature, is a double t a double talker. Yeah, fair. And Rufus is trying to make sure that his head was not going to be decapitated by the guard. By the way, how do you guys like Roko's plan to start up a whole new subsection of council members to represent a whole races? <laughs> we might need to work on the name. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I call it the League of Nations. Wait. Wait. <laughs> we'll call it the Party of Forest. <laughs> I'm trying to think of a funny way. Well, there's also this. swamps here. The forest. The forest United. Ah, forest United. Radical. <laughs> But anyway, yeah, you guys, you guys fucking nailed that, though, just... I like to think Roko made good arguments, even without the persuasion checks. <laughs> no, like, you guys, well, that's why you guys were able to make the persuasion checks in the first place, is because you guys were hitting the right buttons. Yeah. And then we just rolled high. We're on fire. Now let's go I... fight a lake worm! <laughs> <laughs> We've earned it. You know, I just gotta, I gotta make sure Rufus dies before we reach back to Elderheart. Just real quick, Mike. Cool. Yeah. Did I finish the crossbar? Um. Let me see here. 
Well, because you said that I just need to spend a bit more time after my last roll to put it together. Did you do that yet? Well, yeah, yeah that's what we did on the... Yeah, yeah. When we you're... started. Yeah, sorry, I'm having a hard time keeping up with that. But yeah, I'll... Yeah, I'll say your crossbow is finished. You now have a crossbow that can ignore the repeating property. Ignore the... Lo the... the load. Oh, yeah. we'll, we'll figure that out. Yeah. We'll figure out that mechanically later. Yeah, I am, uh... going to be a misfire chance for it, but other than that... Yeah, that's fine. Um, I'm going to log off. I'm going to make some lunch and get ready for work. Okay. okay. No right. See you next good. week, bud. All right. Good boy, lads. Ciao. I'll see some of y'all tomorrow. See ya. Ciao. We on too, too much longer, so you should be... You shouldn't miss too much. Yeah, we yeah. That's all right. I don't mind. Yeah. yeah. I mean, all right. Catch y'all later. Is this your last game, Cam, or you got one more? Uh, one more. Okay. Alright, bye boy. Bye, bye man. Ciao. Uh, okay. The, the lake's not that big. You're, you're talking more of, like, a dot. A little small circle. <laughs> also, it's warm with a Y, not an L. But, um... Why are they just... Okay, what's with the X? What is with the X? Hold no on. idea. <sighs> there we go. I added its name. <laughs> Alright, right, and goodbye to this. Hello. Uh -oh. Dark side I don't map is no longer accurate. Can you actually put a dot where the fucking lake is oh, now? Oh, for the love of God. Put put a dot where it is. Right over here. Yeah. There we go. Stroke those big crayons. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, no, that... Though, you guys... I did not expect to go negotiations to go so well. <laughs> I was full on prepared for a fight there, and I had a little nasty secret up my sleeve. Uh, oh, shit. We, just... we got really fucking lucky this session. You know, when she was looking up to the roof, uh, we all turned our heads to see what she's staring at, and then we just see, like, the guard behind her just looking menacingly before the fight begins. Now just we just gotta hopefully we get as lucky with Alderheart Council. Yeah. That or, you know, just try to make it there in one piece. That now, should be fine. Gonna, now, before I pick things back up, I'm gonna ask, for sake of reverend, do you guys, guys want to just skip the travel time? I mean, unless you got something planned for us, I can't see why we wouldn't. Yeah. 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 <clears throat> How about just one random encounter for the mountain and then the forest, and we'll say that's it. Sound good? All sure. right. I'm good. So, you guys leave and return to the main area. You may, uh, due to your father comes up to you when you get back, he says, So, uh, kid, how'd your, uh, recycling plan go? I mean, we're not dead, right? I kind of grin at him and go to hug him, and I'm like, It went pretty well, actually. I, it's, it's all set to go forward. Now it's, uh, uh, just making sure Mother Earth doesn't reject us? I kind of look to Roko like, is that the, is that the fucking, uh, metaphor you were going for? I don't yes, know. Yes, that's what we're going for, Mother Earth. <laughs> Mother Earth must embrace us <laughs> and bring forth the peace and purity of our world. Yeah, something like that. But yeah, it's going forward. Uh, we do Just have to. Sir. No, you're fine. We, we are heading out in the morning. My book and I just go. Oh, you were speaking code. I just thought you were becoming more fervent. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you know, I'm just uh, never I... clued in on the fucking code. I'm just saying that because it wasn't either. Spotting... <laughs> and Rocco's been spotting about Recyclia this entire time. <laughs> I'm just so from like, pirate's point like... of view, this is just Roko being Roko. 
<laughs> God, you guys... I'm still amazed at how well that went. I was expecting a fight to break out. <laughs> hey, man, when we want to be persuasive... <laughs> if it right. did, I, I, I would have claimed big, uh, Terrence's big stick. Uh, I'll have to yeah, about the encounter now. I set up for you that, because it would have been a fun one. But anyway, so, you guys... Uh, 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 Funnel looks at all of you and says, Well, oh, I'm glad to hear your uh, recycling program went uh, through. It's good to hear. I'll, uh, I don't care about that. He just kind of looks at all of you uh, with this bewilderment, uh, like this look of bewilderment, impressed, and legitimately surprised that... <laughs> What is he is hearing at the moment? I know. Hey, what can we hey. say? Recycling your blesses. <laughs> Apparently, with natural twenties. <laughs> <laughs> I don't understand what that means, but uh. To be honest, what? neither do I. The gods speak in strange ways. <laughs> I mean, I'm naturally forty-two, but that's neither here nor there. <laughs> uh -huh. But he looks back at you. He's like, proud of you, kid. Kind of grin and go to hug and I'm like, we are heading out in the morning though. You going with them? Yeah. All right. Well, wanna go convince your mom and make some cookies before you leave? <laughs> yeah, that sounds like a plan. Does she still make the Peter peanut butter ones? Oh yeah, with like the little chocolate chips in there too. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, you know. God, I'm so proud that you're my daughter. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's go bug your mom. Hey. No, sorry. We go to bug mother. Why are you casting that now? I'm not, I just clicked on it by accident. Oh, okay. I was like, what is Roko doing with that? <laughs> All right. He's looking for more potential believers of Cyclia. To, to be fair, yeah. I was just looking at like the future spell listing though for fucking uh, knowledge clerics, and they are the nosiest fucking clerics on the game. They have all the spying spells, including R oh, yeah. and I. Yeah, no, that, that makes sense. Also, uh, his fucking—he he literally he can literally mind wash like fucking mind wash people. It's it's brilliant. <laughs> oh, you mean modify memory? Not quite. No, not modify memory though. But he ha his his blessing allows him if his blessing goes through, he automatically succeeds on suggestions and can read a character's thoughts for a minute straight. That's what that's, that's fuck. Oh my god, I forgot how weird knowledge. I, I've never actually done knowledge, but I might have to sometime. That sounds fun. So, uh, two two, you go off with your dad to go bug your mom to make some cookies, and eventually she obliges. Nice. Um, you may add a dozen peanut butter cookies to your inventory if you want. Nice. I will add to that indeed. I'm gonna say that there. Did we eat some beforehand and these are the leftovers or like. Yeah. What? Yeah. Cool. You think cookies, there would be leftover cookies with the internet? What? <laughs> I'm kidding. No one said I was sharing them with you yet. I was about to say. <laughs> As we leave, though, Roko snaps his fingers. Damn it, I forgot to ask you about the blueberry muffins. <laughs> I mean... I wonder if you'd mind if I went back. <laughs> what are you... Probably a bad idea, but... But... Eh, maybe in the actual, you know, talks, we can well, ask yeah, him for that's the... Good point. Yeah, yeah, maybe we can put that in the discussion of trade. Maybe a good blueberry muffin yeah. recipe for, the, like, the meeting would be great. <laughs> Yeah. Just okay. <laughs> Michael, you gave me this. <laughs> no, I know. I know. I'm happy you're using it, don't worry. God. Uh brain. But yeah, okay. No, I just say goodbye to my parents and le and leave with the rest in good spirits. So, you guys spend the night, you 
get yourself situated in the morning. Uh, I will say Wayne Wright also spent a good amount of time with his parents before he left. Uh, hold on. Uh, so, if you guys start heading down the mountain. So, we will say, over the next couple days, uh, first couple days, your event down the mountain isn't too, uh, isn't too bad. Uh, eventually. However, we'll say on your second day of travel, let me see if you guys even hit anything. Okay. You guys actually get down the mountain fairly fine. <laughs> Man, luck is with us tonight. I, you guard some lucky bastards tonight. There was an entire enemy that was so excited to use for this location that I never got the chance to. Well, oh. you did get to kill uh, Andy twice, Michael. Don't get greedy. <laughs> <laughs> nah, man, uh, you gotta go. You gotta go for the triple kill. Uh, so you guys make your way down the mountain. Um, by the way, just mark off your days worth of rations while you're doing this. Just three days worth of rations uh, for the mountain. Um, as you guys are getting to near the base of the mountain, uh, you do happen to run into, of all people, Eric, as he seems to have gathered his men again. As he starts heading up the base of the mountain, he says, "Ah, shit, you ain't gonna." beat the shit out of us again, are you? I don't know! The Panther are gonna try to rob us! <laughs> if I say Fucking no, sus. will this end without any Look, buddy! And Roka's just gonna put his hand, his, his arm around his shoulder. Don't worry, friend! I'm just growing with you. We're, not, we're all here, but working on the great recycling program of recycling now. Everything went swimmingly. Wait. You actually did it? Yep, we are, be, we are about to recycle all of the waste and make the world a better place. Ah, damn, alright. Well, that's gonna be... Fuck, alright. <laughs> Good job. Let's go lay into Ian. Hey, who the hell's this guy? <laughs> I... Seems very, yeah. Uh... I don't know. I, you know what? I have no comments, actually, because I don't want to start a fight. <laughs> Good call. <laughs> uh, Eric just looks at all these like, uh, all right, well, fuck, I got nothing. All right, good on you. Prove me wrong. Hey, we're simply a protects. Can we use her in a pamphlet for her, her, her great miracles and glory? <laughs> if I say yes, this is mean you're not going to rob me. Yes. <laughs> Sure. <laughs> go hands him a pamphlet. Recycle your protects. Okay, guys, let's go. <laughs> <laughs> I swear to God. <laughs> hey, man, I I'm battling an uphill. Uh, Roko's starting a new religion. It's an uphill battle here. <laughs> yes. Yeah, you've only had to threaten one person for it. <laughs> God. All right. Um, you bid Eric farewell as he's just kind of in this bewilderment that you somehow actually did what you set were setting out to do. Um, you guys continue along, walking through the forest. Are you guys taking the road back, or are you walking through the forest? I mean, we we're like oh, like a week ahead of schedule, aren't we? Uh, you're about three or four days. Yeah, we're, we're way ahead of schedule. I mean, if we cut through, but if we cut through the woods, we'd be like a week ahead of schedule, right? Like, because we cut a lot of time cutting through the woods already. Yeah, about. What do you think, guys? Just yeah, take it easy. The take the roads back this time. Uh, how much? Can I use my cartography uh, skills to determine uh how much time we'd save between road versus forest? You'd save about three or four days to the for if you take the forest route, uh, depending on whether or not like you hit some along the way. Yeah, just depends if we hit wild animals or uh, other such accidents. 
I don't know. Ian, do you want to go kill things or do you want to take it easy? What do you think? I'm thinking you got a ducky mole that's craving quackers. <laughs> I have no <laughs> idea. <laughs> okay, we'll go through the forest while we're avoiding that fucking lake. <laughs> Oh, yeah, no, yeah, no we're, we're avoiding that lake. Fuck that lake. <laughs> nice. So, your path to the forest is just gonna be... <laughs> yeah? Yeah. Yeah. Like <laughs> yeah, we're, just, we're, yeah. We're giving that a wide berth. <laughs> okay. Okay. Um, easy enough. You start walking through and let's see what sort of horrible thing you encounter along the way. Uh, by the way, I guess Roko, now that we've lost our fucking scout, Roko will do the perception checks for scouting. <laughs> okay. No, no. It's you're quack. It's not crackers. I said quack. I, I said quackers, yeah, I yeah. said with quack. <laughs> well, shit. Well, I'll change that. It's also not 2020. Well, it's, it's already official. Roko's a better scout than Varen. <laughs> 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 I guess I could have given Baron. you advantage on that too. Varen <laughs> always bitching about doing this job. I don't it's see crazy. what the problem is. I can see everything. <laughs> Try wearing that stupid bandana over his eyes. Andy, just let me know when I'm pulling the pin on that grenade. One second. One second. Uh... One second. Uh, See, the thing is, he could do that, and then just met, and then Roku just goes turn undead. Yeah, I know. <laughs> is, is that the signal? No, <laughs> no, that was a joke. It's it's getting closer though. It's getting closer. To the <laughs> I want Varen Revenant. <laughs> I would also like Varen Revenant. <laughs> That'll be the epilogue. Just yeah. uh, the final battle. <laughs> See, you'll figure out what it's like to be on the receiving end of the ducky mall. <laughs> uh, so you already killed him once, Ian. You're gonna do it again. Not with the ducky mall, though. That was with a rock. <laughs> Technically, that was just with your girth. It was. It was pretty informal, to be honest. Oh, Christ Almighty! Anyways, Michael, what do we run into? <laughs> Ah, uh, fuck, what I roll? Why do I have more than one dice out here? Fuck. Ah! <sighs> Give me a moment. Go I gotta ahead. roll this again because I don't remember what it was and I have too many dice out right now. <coughs> okay, it's always nice when you can break your DM, guys. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, Quite. as you guys are walking along, A second. Uh, hold on, let me clean this up real quick for you guys. Put your, put you guys is uh, put, put yourselves on this map somewhere. What end? Uh, we're gonna say uh this side. Oh no, Varen's back! No. <laughs> oh yeah. There's the revenant. Damn it! I didn't give you the signal, Michael. Sorry, Andy. We also need Jordan to move his token and. <laughs> God, I've been here to this entire time. We. Rufus, <laughs> hold on. Oh. Oh. Uh, never mind. No. All right. So as you guys are walking, I think this is the right one. As you guys are walking along, you're feeling jaunty, you're feeling great. And suddenly, you hear music off in the distance. Is it this fucking guy again? As... <laughs> uh, no, unfortunately, it's not the guy again. But... Oh, that would have been great, because we would have just whipped out that fucking giant fish skull for him. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, he said he was heading on his way to Elderheart. Maybe he's still there. Yeah. <sighs> But Oh shit, I didn't make tokens for this. As I'm hearing music, like, I'm just gonna pull up my violin and just begin trying to play to the beat. Alright, well I'm gonna improvise some uh 
tokens here real quick because I realized I forgot to make goddamn things again. It's fine. Fair deal. <laughs> I've been very bad about that lately. I gotta put I gotta put a reminder. We've quacked the DM. God. As you, as you just see what seems to be this traveling group of uh, strangers approaching you, each of them with an instrument as they just are singing their song, uh, song and playing their music. That looks like the bard we saw. <laughs> it's the same token, but it's a different guy. He's wearing blue. It's his twin. Yeah. <laughs> yeah twin yeah. brother. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe you could ask. <laughs> hey guys, look! More birds! Well, so hello! Hi, As this big string man in the front uh, starts walking towards you. <laughs> oh Immediately Trump! turn around and walk into the underbrush. <laughs> I'm gone. I am tired of this. Ian would like to accompany to Tuchu and, and trying to hide. <laughs> Wait, where are you going? We had a whole thing? Okay, bye. Don't take offense to them, they seem very socially awkward. No, he's just loud. Just loud. <laughs> okay, <laughs> you guys hide in the underbrush. Uh, yeah. So, it's like, well, hello to the rest of you! Hi, you man! <laughs> Say that again, my friend! I said hi, you Mac. Mac, no, my name is Eternicus von Tannerfor. Okay. Uh, yeah, just wandering by in the forest. What is with bards in this fucking forest? <laughs> hey, I take offense to that. What, you're a bard? <laughs> I mean, my character is a bard, but yeah, I know. But you've never told Roko. Roko has has never seen you cast yeah, a spell no, or he's... anything. There's no indication you're a bard. <laughs> I cast Mr. Smokery that one time, but we didn't notice it because it failed. <laughs> right, fair enough. Yeah. You know what? That's very fair. <laughs> anyway, ah. I am a generous one, Terrafor, and this is my merry band. <laughs> Oh, nice to meet you, Bands! Uh, you. I'm Roko, and we are the uh, Ashboro's Last! Ashboro's Last, huh? Hmm. Famous adventurers and do dare heroes of the land! Oh! Yes, I've heard of you! You're the ones who have been fighting the bandits, haven't you? Well, yes and no. <laughs> We've been just yeah. keeping the peace. Ah, good, good to hear! Yes, I've heard much about your exploits. Tell me, brave heroes, have you any more since then? Sure! Tales? I got a good one! Hey, Ian, pass me the bag! <laughs> no, 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 it's Wainwright's toolbox, isn't it? Oh, that's it? right, it's Wainwright's yeah. toolbox. Well, it's like Wainwright, Roko grabs the toolbox and is like, You know what? You ever hear of a good fish story? Oh, I've heard plenty of fish stories in my time, friend. Well, we got like a you. fish and rip. Wait, Roko just rips the skull out of the. This bug. <laughs> All right, as you produce a skull that is now a that would be considered a large sized creature, he goes, <gasps> "My goodness, that is a big fish. My, tell me what sort of species was this? What sort of tail? You must tell me everything, so we may commemorate it in song." Sure, Roko will go into the heroic details of how he and his companions saved his dim-witted companion. <laughs> Man, As they battle Man, the great Ian knows fish. He knows he's fucking dumb. You don't have to say it. <laughs> uh, Ian, you hear all of this. As this yeah, is... but Roko uses big words. <laughs> yeah, no. Ian? Ian's out here thinking we're actually recycling, dude. Yeah. Ian, make me an intelligence check. <laughs> nat 20, nat 20, nat 20. No, oof, Natural good. 18. You know, Ian, due to the context of the situation, you know Roko is insulting you. Well, he's not going to insulting him. He's just telling the story as it was. <laughs> as he had yep. gone down looking for a pearl in the freaking water and nearly got eaten by a fish. 
book. <laughs> if it was a fucking pearl, no one would be laughing at me, and we'd be walking out with their pearl and an awesome story. Fuck off. <laughs> I see. We went to Warm Lake. Very dangerous uh, traveling location. I must say that, my friend. Yes, and the great villain of the story is the cartographer dummy. <laughs> <laughs> Who didn't put it on the map? I just say, what would you buy such a horrendous map that would not put such a dangerous location on it? I don't know, but I plan to get my money back. <laughs> I Roko, I could just, you know, edit it for you if you'd like. Oh, that'd be great. Ew. <laughs> yeah, see the map. Like with the crayon on it. <laughs> I'm going to just like gent try to sm wipe the smudge off it. And have like... you ever tried to wipe off crayon, dude? You only make it worse. Yeah. Fair enough. I I mean, how how would you do it? Prestidigitation would be your best bet. Yeah. Anybody well... got prestidigitation? <laughs> no. Okay. Excellent. I'm pretty sure Lyran does actually. Oh, is that because? <laughs> uh, so, so we go over the tales of the deeds, Michael, and we'll, 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 he'll also go do the harrowing battle with the great Jumbo. <laughs> ah, such a, such a harrowing tale, adventure, danger, and a narrow escape, and yep. unfortunately, the loss of a tender. Huh. Yes, yes. Also, there was a horrible incident in a cave where we lost a dear friend, Varen. Is this the Varen Vaughn, former bandit, that you speak of? Yes, former Ian's bandit, currently... current pancake. <laughs> he is currently touching up his statue of the literally that the statue that says Varen, the world's worst rogue on it. <laughs> <laughs> Just in the bush. Do too. <laughs> and Roker will go over the battle with the great Yeti and the heroic sacrifice of the world's worst he won't say world's worst scout but the thing, well, like as he wandered around the corner and saw the giant rock crush like he just tells the story you know, as it was <laughs> uh, very he was he was not the best rogue but he did not let that stop him yes he gave yeah, it his all, damn it. He had two left beats, let's say. <laughs> For shits and giggles, Roko, make me a persuasion check. I'll say an advantage since these guys have heard of you. <laughs> Yay! This is gonna be my shit roll, I just know it. Uh... Yeah, 17! Alright, they seem enthralled and they're hanging on every word. Uh, hmm. Bill Varen, struck by a yeti with a rock, oh, so how it goes. He was, oh, he was the world's worst rock. Ian will now actively, like, mo like cover his fucking ear. <laughs> <laughs> Quick question, oh, Michael. Yes? Uh, which instruments are they carrying on them? Uh, the string seems to be carrying uh, what seems to be the, uh, the lute, while the corvum, uh, the corvum seems to be carrying... Uh, what looks to be uh, tambourines, and at his side there seems to be a small drum. So he's like banging the tambourine on like his thigh while he's like patting the drum. And the hedge has what seems to be a uh, uh, accordion in his hands. Very nice. Very nice. And I also <laughs> love that he incorporates the uh, very the worst rogue as one of the lyrics. Yep. <laughs> Now the now the bun is just like the fingers on the bun, but it's not fully pressed. You know, <laughs> it's just waiting for that little nudge. Soon everyone will be singing about Baron the Worst Rogue. <laughs> you know, I'm just waiting for like when the fight actually, like when Varen actually becomes a revenant and comes back, and he misses all of his attacks and messes up his trap. He just messes everything up trying to get his revenge. And a sequel is Re Re Baron the v World's Worst Revenant. <laughs> it's just a continuation <laughs> song. Uh. <laughs> oh, my God. Dear me, oh, my. All right. You folks have been a delight, an absolute delight, and I must repay this delight. Here, give me one moment. As he sort of rubs his hands together, grabs his loot, and you start seeing him strum a bit, 
and suddenly you see what seem to be three caskets form in front of them. <sighs> to you, my friends, drink to your heart's content. Don't mind if I do, and I am sure Wainwright is fulfilling his flask. <laughs> oh yeah, absolutely. Uh, this is a potent ale. It's okay, I got resistance to poison. <laughs> Roko's a drinker. <laughs> <laughs> Varen, I mean, not Varen. Uh, Rufus will pour it as water. Mm, you know what? No, it's water skin. I don't actually think no, I have that anything. Sounds like a dumb idea to pour a fucking water skin filled with alcohol. I don't have anything I can fill drinks with, so I'm just gonna. Varen, I mean, Ver, Rufus, damn it. It's not gonna do anything. He's just gonna say, uh, you know what? I'm fine. Thank you. You sure? I appreciate as he pulls that. out a couple empty mugs. I'm fine. Thank you, though. Uh, deeply appreciated. And what about your two friends that wandered off that way? As he shouts in that direction, if you can hear me, we have free booze! Shut <laughs> up. <laughs> there are not much more no. for No oh, booze in the world would make talking to you worth it. God, why are people that loud? Actually, at this point, since you guys are hiding, he's like, Yes, we have Tutu the Bashful! <laughs> so you can like the names of our party. <laughs> I see! Tutu the Bashful! Oh my God. <laughs> That's it, I will kill all of you! And I stand up brandishing my rapier. <laughs> see, oh, see, the funny yeah. part is, see, the funny part is, Tutu stands up and you still so, don't see them coming out of the bush because the bush is too big and Tutu's too short. <laughs> Yeah. All, all they see is a sword poking out of the bush. Yep, yeah, just barely. <laughs> oh, friend, I mean no offense. If you won't, I can rework the song. No. I mean, the irony is Tutu probably won't remember this in a couple of minutes. <laughs> no, probably not. <laughs> <laughs> well, my friend... You say that in character. No, I did not. I, I didn't use Roko's voice. It's on character. Uh, Aww. Uh, well, my friends, let us drink and dance till the night has, no has drawn near. I mean, I suppose we should set a little time. What, uh, what time of the day is it, Michael? Like, are we blowing a full day doing this, or are we just blowing a few hours? Yeah, you're probably blowing a few hours at this point. Yeah, sure, we got, we got time. We're not in a huge hurry. As a... Excellent! As they start playing their music joyfully and what's not, you guys may drink of the, you may partake of the booze, dance and be merry, or sit in the bushes covering your ears. Man, I just gotta point out, guys, we barely have rolled under ten today, and that scares the fuck out of me. <laughs> <laughs> Mister, I always roll super fucking high. <laughs> just waste all those rolls. You don't need them for Strad. Yeah, I know. I, I have a feeling my hot streak is the Roko, and I'm gonna be terrible with fucking uh, uh, with Seamus on Friday. In any case, yeah. Two two. The cookies are delicious. Ian, the cookies are also very delicious. Yes, Ian eat. Ian would literally just eat all three at once. <laughs> Nice. Considering I mean, they are like jerby. Yeah, it was, but they're jerbing sized cookies, so they're probably like like you know the little snack cookies you get in the bags. Yeah. It's like, it's like they call them like brownies. All three of them at once. Nice. Meanwhile, Tutu is just going num 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 num, like a rat does. Yeah. I always find it like every time I play this game, I always find it scary that the smallest party member and the largest one are always like nearly always on the same wavelength. Hey, big guy, small guy. It's a tag team that has worked for the ages. But anyway, you guys drink and you're merry and you have a great evening. The night falls upon you and you are able to set up camp as these bars eventually stop playing their song and sing the rest of themselves. The next morning, you awake and you bid your bid adieu and go your separate ways. Roko does turn a layer. By the way, yeah, I, I'm assuming you had uh, re enlarge reduce ready, Ian, or not, Ian? Uh, uh, Jordan? Uh, yes. Okay, so we'd reduce the skull and put it back in the bag too when we were done. But <laughs> yep, fair. Uh, the rest of your travel goes uneventful as I failed to roll a combat for either of those two. 
which I'm kind of sad at. <laughs> uh, but nonetheless, you guys continue forth until eventually. Oh, that's the wrong track. Until eventually, uh, midway through your last day of travel, you once again see the grand city of Eldahart. And that is where we shall end tonight's session. Two immediately forgets about the bard situation the moment they're out of sight. <laughs> three, no, days, three, three days in, in the future, Tutu just hears a song about Tutu, and Tutu's like, oh, I wonder who they're singing about. They share the same name as me. Yeah, Tutu's a bashful. It's weird that there's another Tutu out there. There can't be many of us, but I mean... <laughs> uh, kind of weird, huh? So... We will end tonight's session as you make your way back to Elder Hunt. What'd you guys think? That was 